Hello. Hi. There's so many snacks. I know. <laughs> <laughs> We're Every week, I sit with oh, you. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to eating snacks. Um, oh wait, tempting cake. Yes. Snacks. Sorry. Uh, and uh, thank you, fifty-four A. Uh, Qua snakes and X ray correct? Aqua snakes. Aqua snakes. Oh, yeah. Okay. I that would you make that more difficult on yourself? I don't know. These things are hard to read. And it's read. a wrench. I loosened it up for you. So, mm-hmm. all right. Uh, and thank you, Kai. And uh, thank you, Because it's a jar. Um, uh, and oh, hello, hey! enthusiasm. Uh, hello, hey! hello, hello enthusiasm army. Um, and yeah, okay. So, um, welcome to Tempting Fate. Today we are doing uh, a Game of Thrones, our our tribute um, to. Uh, yeah, I know it, it's, it's a little heavy for our our typical fare, but I think we can make this work. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna try something. Yeah, a little strange, but okay, we're gonna we'll get there. Oh, that was, that was strong. So, um, <laughs> oh, thank you, uh, Liski and Geek Out. Um, and yeah, and uh, as usual, yeah. we have uh, Ravity and Gina and Yay. Sam and Markia. Uh, and tonight we have special guest, uh, Becca Scott. Not Ooh. as usual. Uh, not as usual. <laughs> um, uh, from uh, Geek and Chundry and uh, all, all sorts of games. Thank game you for having me. Oh, thank Those you for things, coming. Yes. Um, and thank you, Flavatex and Tatseltes. Uh, and thank, thank you, everybody. You. Um, all right, so I'm going to try and uh, speed through the announcement. So you can get Tempting Fate shirts at the uh, sh- at the store. Dom will put the link in the thing. Um, T Public. There's the classic logo shirt, and now we have the Carrier Penguin shirt, um, which is a, a cool like uh, fantasy Carrier Penguin with a sword. Uh, it's 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 adorable and done by our friend Meaning of Night. It's perfect. I got one. Sam got one. Um, <laughs> And uh, um, we have opened up community captions on our all old YouTube videos. So if you want to help out people who need and like captions, we would love your participation on that. Um, and you can find all of our previous hacks. We've done like 60 of these things now. Um, you can find them all uh, in the Tempting Fate room of the Saving Throw Discord. Uh, Dom will put that link up there too if you want to play anything we've done. Giving Dom a lot of work. Yeah, I know. Dom, Dom is cool to put up with all this. Yeah, watch Roger Rabbit. Um, so, so thank you to Dom. Um, hey, thank you, Warrior. And thank you to John Harper, the guy who uh, designed Lasers and Feelings, which is the game yeah. we play here. You can find him on Twitter at John underscore Harper, and uh, he's working on a Kickstarter now uh, for uh, Agon. Oh, thank you, V-Ray UK. Thank you. Um, yes. Which is this, yeah, Agon looks great. It's like this cool, like, mythology, like, role-playing game, and, you know, he did Blades in the Dark and all this cool stuff, so mm. definitely check that out um, and check out that Kickstarter. Uh, and thank you, John. Um, and, uh, yeah, and so, as usual, uh, well, not, actually, no, not as usual. Um, usually, you can send carrier penguins, uh, which uh, deliver messages to the people on the show, or we'll read or stuff like that. Um, and, uh, but tonight, uh, sticking with the theme, they're ravens. You can send a raven um, uh, if you want to uh, say something yeah. to then, us, or just have me read it makes sense. anything. I like um, that. In fact, I'm going to try and get that up right here. Do, do, do. Uh... <laughs> Dom? Yeah. Any chance you could? Uh... Yes, All right, true. we're going to get we're get, get working so on that. Get that working. Uh, they they have you. grudges. Like they have petty. They do. They they. Corvettes they... are perfect. Sorry. No, no, I'm getting sorry. distracted by how much. So, uh, yeah, so uh, we have tears tonight. As always, uh, this is uh, the way that you can uh, help us slay the rent beast, so to speak. Um, y- 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 your donations. The rent is coming. Yeah, your donations are 100 <gasps> The rent is coming, yes. Oh, yeah. You can just say things like that. A cold, a cold winter it will be. Um, yeah, no, your donations totally keep this place open and let us do this and like the charity drive and stuff that we do and we're super grateful. You've been incredibly generous with us this season and, and the previous season, so we're very grateful. And tonight... And you're buying a bounce house. And you're buying a bounce house? No, I made a fake announcement, but now <laughs> you're obligated to it, Dom! Uh, <laughs> an announcement. Well, great. Now everything's going to be a letdown because there's no bounce house on this list, but, but we're going to get Dom looking that up. Dom time. Um, yeah. <laughs> Dom time bounce Let's house. Let's do a bouncy castle for this yes. episode. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we can we can make that a Dom time tier. Maybe like one of the one of their Isn't castles will turn yes. into a bouncy castle. Oh yeah. <laughs> that so nice. Yeah, that's gotta happen. Mm-hmm. Um, so okay, twenty five dollars, which was already unlocked. Um, there are secret objectives for everybody. Oh. Yes. oh. oh. Um, no, 
know, often these are kind of like uh, goofy out of game stuff, I love like these. you know, tell a certain pun or make a certain, you know, use a certain letter over and over again. But tonight yeah. they are Who's a little bit more in game. I'm just going to hand these out uh, totally at random. So, mm. boom, 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 boom. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Deal. Don't tell anyone your secret objective. This will not be a problem. I bet these are all the same and I'm here for it. <laughs> Perhaps. Oh, thank you, Dark of Nate. Oh, and thank oh, you, Los so oh. God, thank you, everybody. Thank you. So, hey, yeah, that's, wow, more like, stuff is going to be open right here. Yeah. Secret um, spoils. Out there. Oh, like, no. Look. Oh. So, Wait, what? Dark right? Yeah, Dark of Nate and Los Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, Dark of Nate, that was a very, yeah. Lord, a number divisible by two primes. Um, so, yeah, at $50, which I guess is already open, um, did I get the thing back? No, I, oh, you're still working on the thing, okay. Uh, well, is a vision in the fire. A, a randomly <laughs> selected player uh, will get to uh, look into the fire and have a vision of the future, which uh, I will work into the game. So no matter what they say, it's going to come true. Um, I don't like fire. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and if we get to a uh, hundred dollars tonight, um, uh, we will have uh, the tier uh, that we, you know, uh, the old, old reliable pupper time. Um, oh. A randomly selected house gets a dire wolf. Oh my God. <laughs> what? Oh, yes. Yes. Um, Excellent. And the dire wolf will be played by <coughs> Ravy. No. Uh, <laughs> I play the dog. That's my part. <laughs> Yay. Um, no. Uh, we'll, I love it. We'll, we'll see who gets the dire wolf, and then we'll assign someone to play it. Um, and uh, if we get to $150, uh, we have a mini game uh, called Valerian Steel. Um, a, a winner gets a sword made from the rarest metal in the land. So you might want something like that later. I'm not saying Is, for sure. Are we going to be doing, um, you know, Lannister Says or something? Because you know how that goes. <laughs> no, I don't think I'm trying that one anymore. Yeah, no, that, that didn't work out too well for me. <laughs> Um, so if if we get to two hundred dollars, uh, we have uh, Valar Marulis. Um A randomly selected house will get a chance to win a favor from the House of Black and White. Ooh, okay. Um, Gosh, this is gonna be an episode. Oh yeah. Wow. <laughs> And if, if, if we should get to $250, uh, if you were that generous with us tonight, um, Dragon Fight, uh, <gasps> everybody gets the chance to warg into a dragon oh my for God. a final battle. Yes. Yes. So start with yes. yes. Come on, yes. somebody do. Yes. yes. I've trained for this. <laughs> yes. oh, no. I was a dragon this summer. I can do this again. You can. <laughs> I got this. Um, and, and if by some uh, amazing uh, limb of fortune we should get to three hundred dollars, um, game of birthdays. Uh, it is actually yesterday oh, was uh, yes. Sam yes. Lev's birthday here. Um, hey. <laughs> thank you, Dark of Nate. There it is. Okay, I was. Thank you, Heart of Handprints. Been oh. replaced. Yes, <laughs> everything's fine now. Yeah, usually uh, Dark of well, Nate is all about chaos. Yes. So mm. the fact that it was an even number was like, wait, what? Yeah, it's like I was. I was wondering if Dark of Nate had been. Replaced or well, something. Yeah. Um, a round number, yeah. not an even number. Right. A round number. Yeah. So yeah, if we get to game of birthdays, um, we will close the show singing happy birthday to Sam, but set to the tune of the Game of Thrones theme song. So, yeah. I'm okay with that. Yeah, and okay. we didn't practice at all. That. So that can, it's that gonna can be, be handled. Like, I already got it ready. happening right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, it. it's, it's gonna you work. See it? Yeah, it's right there. Mm -hmm. I'm leaking, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, Psychics, too many. <laughs> so those are the regular tiers, and then if we get past that, we're into Dom time. Uh, and then tonight, um, I'm gonna throw out like a way big. Uh, oh, Leesky, thank you. Oh, thank, uh, you. thank you again. Oh, hey, thank you. Um, Oh, so yeah, game. I'm gonna throw out like a higher level kind of thing for tonight because there's something I want to do, but it would mean extending the season. So I, I just, you know, I, I want to see see if we can get there. If 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 we get to 800 tonight, oh. um, by some just incredible whim of fortune, uh, we'll we will we'll add an extra game to the season and we'll do hero pups. <gasps> oh oh my God. God. Uh, so just give it to them. They're so excited. <laughs> Why would you withhold like that? Yes, Dom says that this, this will never happen. Very ambitious. Why would you want to break us like this? Oh, oh man. Why would you? See, we have oh, a God, thing. I wish we were that. 
we, we have pupper time. Uh, it happens every once so often where someone in the game gets a dog and someone else plays the dog, and it's we happened a so gazillion times. We have so many dogs. Times. We have so, we have so many hero dogs. Yeah, so we're gonna make a, a single adventure that unites all the hero dogs from all of our games. Yeah, yeah. Zelda. Yes. 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 Um, and 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 I don't know. It's like the crazy things have happened in the past. For every two hundred dollars we get beyond that. We'll add another game to Hero Pups. So as far as a trilogy, <laughs> bonkers what? talk. Um, I don't want to get crazy. I'm just throwing out like insane ideas now. Um, mm -hmm. This doesn't really yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. there have been well, so many good you boys. You the can of worms, oh darling. But no. yes, even, oh, even one would be enough. So yeah, Hero Pups this season if we get that high. But forget that for now. Um, oh, oh, yes. three, three doggies from Pop Pell and Pop Cat. Yes, from Roger Rabbit. Stop. Oh my god. There are oh my too god. many. All There's too many good boys. So many good boys. Yeah, the worst part of that is I'm going to have to go back through like all 70 episodes to make a list of the hero pups for <laughs> the rest yes. of my life. Yes. Yes. Ace what? the Bat Hound. There, Ace the Bat Hound. Ace the Bat Hound. Again, I yeah. played half of these dogs. I yeah. My very Thank you. Oh, thank you. Zephyrus yes. one. Thank you. Lockjaw. Zephyr. Mm -hmm. Who's one? Zephyrus. Zephyrus one. Zephyrus one. Yes, thank you. Yes. You're much better at reading yeah, things. Yeah, everybody's better at reading things. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, things. subs can give out rerolls. <laughs> uh, so we, we have a bunch. You can give a reroll to the players. Um, you know. If that's the, the kind of person you are, or you can give a reroll to the GM, uh, which is better for storytelling because conflict no. is good for storytelling. No. No. We fail enough on our own. As everybody us. knows. <laughs> um, like we're gonna be doing enough to each other tonight. Very much. Yeah. Like. So honestly, if you want conflict, if you want to start, give it to the players because we're going to be doing bonker stuff tonight. I'm yeah. The conflict yeah. is here. Very polite, it's right. thought through mm. things. So. Yes. Oh yeah, no, we've, we've, we've put no a lot betrayal of at all. <laughs> oh. None. 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 No betrayal is going to be our crown. So I, I have four left over from last week. The players burnt through all theirs, but fifty-four <laughs> oxen well gives one to the players. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Oof. And Liski gives one to the players. Yeah. 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 Contact and death. What? And Geek Outs gives one to the players. Oh, I just probably this some is stuff. going to be very strange this if we're rolling off from each other and re-rolling. Oh. <laughs> yeah. There's that. Yeah. Maybe Don't since we'll be doing that, we should use the GM's re-rolls, because mm. then it makes sense. Do yes. not listen to this person. <laughs> Um, Maybe you don't have to use the best. Order of books, thank yeah. you. As Sam said. So vote Guys. for order? Is what, no, that has to be even more chaotic. Two, yeah. Nine, seven, five. I respect mm -hmm. that. Um, and yeah, that Callisto gives one to the players. Oh. And uh, Cowboy gives one to the players. Yeah. And Tacklefest gives two to the players. Oh. So, one, two, so the players, you, you're starting off with seven. Um, and we have unlocked uh, the secret objectives, the vision in the fire, pupper time, and Valerian steel. So we're up to Valar Marulis, uh, the next randomly selected oh. player gets a favor from the House of Black and White. But let's figure out. Oh no, where are my giant die? They're covered by. Uh, oh no. Oh no. All right. I'm Maybe you won't have to use aggressive bludgeoning weapons around us. <laughs> no, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> so, uh, one, two, I'm gonna, okay. <laughs> two, uh, That's three will be a reroll, four, oh, five, God. six. six. Love, it. Love it. Six. Hey. Hey. A vision in the fire. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Marquia, get ready. <laughs> <laughs> I remember my grudges. <laughs> What did I do? Wow. You like brought up the game that mustn't be yeah. mentioned. Oh, hey. The rave okay. remembers. This is the one that had all the jokes, okay? Um, rave went out on the first round of Simon Says. Oh. Yeah. And yeah. I was okay. yeah. actually down. Yeah. And, but and then, then no one, one ever went out again. <laughs> no one ever did. Whoa. 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 Thank you. You're holy butt. Yeah, thank you, Enthusiast Army, and thank yeah. you, Texas Devin, Librarian Liz, Zizmerth, um, oh Simi David, oh my Lasile. Oh my god, oh my thank god. you, everybody. Oh my god. Oh, uh, oh my god. Uh, goosebumps. We love you. Um, birthday, birthday pups. Birthday pups. Birthday pups. <laughs> It'll never happen. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, humbug. Believe in Do the puppy power. Do not listen to that man. Puppy power. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Potatoes you rule. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Potatoes yeah. rule. Okay, yeah. See, I don't know. I like I'm it. I'm so bad tonight. Please, Get some Dayquil in the old system. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, do or you need it. No, I, I do. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, thank you everybody, and uh, I will let you know what that's done. So yeah, so uh, now I get to okay, we get to whisk through the rules. Um, this is gonna be interesting. Oh, well. So tonight we are playing Game of Thrones. Uh, thank you, Roger Tables, uh, Robert Tables, um, and thank name. you, uh, Consuela, and thank you, uh, Stromgard, and thank you, Board Thing, and Lucy, uh, uh, Lucy Mirth, and Smokebeard. Those um, are all gifted except for Smokebeard uh, uh, by Kaga. Oh, thank you, Kaga. Thank you, Thank you again. Thank you for being so kind to thank us. You. So the game we play is Lasers and Feelings, and tonight we have skinned it to be Game of Thrones, uh, and basically the way this works is uh, every... Tonight, the way this works is everybody doesn't... Have, okay, usually everyone has a character. Tonight, everybody is a house. Um, yes, every player is an entire house. A brick house. A oh, house. Yeah. <laughs> Um, in competition to win the Game of Thrones. And uh, the way this works is every house has a number, um, and that if that number is a, a high number, it means you're better at what we're calling uh, ice skills, which is like calm, precise action, logic, and technology, like real Mr. Spock stuff. Uh, and if you're, uh, you've are you got a, a low number, you're better at fire skills, which is like wild, passionate action, and fisticuffs and diplomacy, like Captain Kirk kind of stuff. Um, oh man, the two extremes on opposite oh, ends of the table. Fire and ice. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, whenever something is in doubt, I'll call for a roll, <laughs> and uh, I'll tell you how many dice you're rolling, and basically um, you automatically roll 1d6, you roll 2 if uh, it's a, a task you are prepared for, and 3 if it's something you're an expert at. Um, and if, uh, uh, if none of your dice succeed, it just blows up in your face, you know, um, some kind of reversal. Uh, if one of your dice succeed, you barely manage a cost. Um, if uh, two succeed, uh, you do uh, well. Good job. Um, and if three dice succeed, you get a critical success, and uh, the, you get some kind of success with style. You get to make up some extra bonus effect. Um, and if you want to help somebody, uh, just <laughs> Sorry. Wow, that was good evil laugh. Um, oh if you want to help somebody before they do something, uh, just uh, call out, I want to help by doing whatever, whatever, and then you oh roll. My oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! Elias! Thank you, Elias. Elias, thank Oh wow. You. Thank you. Yeah. Sam wow. almost wow. choked. Wow. I mean, I did on Hero Pups earlier. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you so much. Oh thank you, everybody. Oh I've been killing my kindness. Yeah. So yeah, if you want to help somebody uh, before uh, they do anything, just be like, I want to help by doing whatever, and then you roll. If The rules are the same for rolling. If you succeed, they get an extra d6. If you fail, nothing bad happens to them. They just don't get help. Uh, and if you roll your number exactly, then tonight you get what we are calling Ask the Three-Eyed Raven. Uh, mm. The Three-Eyed Raven uh, knows all, sees all, and is uh, on call tonight to answer all of your questions. <laughs> Um, and, and you can ask anything you want from something relevant to the game. Where do I find the bad guy? Where's the you know secret treasure or whatever? To just you know what's what Anne May having for dinner tonight? Yeah, which is an Always old staple. Classic strangely, yeah. yeah. Sometimes it's tuna casserole. So yeah, that basically uh, opens up all of the tears. Um, yes. So thank you, everybody. My God, yes. uh, what a strong way to start. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, we're, we are into Dom time. Very now. much so. Oh. Before the game started, we yeah. love you all. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So much. Oh, my oh no. Uh, so we still have a couple of things no. to give out. Okay, so we have ran randomly selected house gets a direwolf. That was uh, Gina. Yeah, me? You got a direwolf. I did? Yeah. 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 Who's playing the direwolf? Do you want to play the direwolf? You play the direwolf. Play the direwolf. Play the direwolf. Oh, play the direwolf. Yes, please. Uh, <laughs> direwolves are twos or what are? Uh, direwolves are threes. Threes. Because they're mostly instinctive, but they have a what? super analytical sniffing snoot. Mm -hmm. What is the direwolf's name? The direwolf's name is. Mm. It's got to be a bread pun. It's got to be a bread pun. Okay. Let's see. Let me think about it. I'll come back. Perfect. To you. Perfect. I just Thank found you. you. I'm introducing you to the family. And, and, and we're gonna name you together. Let's see. Excellent. We'll figure, figure it out in game. Um, and uh... <laughs> really? There okay. it is. Yeah. <laughs> Your name is Wheatney. <laughs> Wheatney. Uh, I love that. <laughs> We'll Steve the Valerian steal <laughs> mini game for in game and uh, and that's Wheatney. it. Wheatney more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you just get? That? <laughs> I just got it. Um, 
So, all right. Picture the opening credits scrolling. <laughs> ba -dum -bum, ba -dum -bum, ba -dum -bum, and the camera takes us through all the locations we'll be visiting this episode, but primarily it zooms in now just as I've explained to the players, just off to the left of Westeros, there is a tiny region known as Lefteros. Um, and uh, it is the home to five families who are so violent. So thank, thank you, Elliot Saber. Um, just so violent, so reprehensible in their conduct towards each other and everybody else uh, that they were omitted from the Song of Fire Ice entirely. Um, and, and, and none of the Seven Kingdoms really want to claim them, although they are clearly under the purview of the king. It's just sort of like one of those, like, ah, oh, we got to deal with the left of those people. Okay. Um, Heart of Hand oh, Prince, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Yay. Thank you so much. Um, I love this. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, let, let, let's let start out, um... What? Oh, my God. Oh, thank Kaga. you. Kaga. Thank you again. Thank you. Oh. Thank you, everyone. Thank you oh, my sauce. God. Um... Yeah. We're gonna have a dom time here. Oh. oh my god, Elias! Elias! Oh, yes. <laughs> Elias got paid today. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Wow, thank you so much. Thank you. Um, thank you. So, yeah, this one's a little bit experimental. We're gonna see how this goes. Um, basically, it's like you are each a house, and uh, you can <laughs> you can kill each other. You can kill people within your own houses because that stuff happens all the time. Um, uh, you can really do anything you want. It is Game of Thrones, uh, and uh, yeah, let's start off by uh, meeting our houses. Um, so I guess uh, we'll start over here with Becca, our yes, guest star. That's um, right. Thank you, Smokebeard. Thank you. That's chaos. Solid vote for chaos. chaos. Yeah. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, your house? House Glacial. Ooh. They are far, far, far to the north in an unexplored region where people forget about us all the time. But that's fine. We wait patiently. We are a militaristic house with a ridiculous amount of technology. I mean, we've really been innovating up here. Everyone lives in a floating castle, Castle Vanlieth. Uh, and our house motto Ooh. is dead don't die. Oh, we are undead. But oh, wow. we all learned how to speak the common tongue. You know, we really, we're just like the living. And all we want is to make everyone in Lefteros undead. That's all. It's totally a normal goal. And, that's, and then uh, for everyone to worship the lo Lord of Freeze. The Lord of Freeze. Ah. Um, it, it doesn't seem like a lot to ask. Um, I don't think so. Uh, and really missionaries. Uh, the characters of House Glacial are a five, which makes them uh, hard ice characters. By the way, thank you, Meeting of Night. Oh my god, Whoa! thank you, Tinksy! Oh my god, Tinksy! What? Whoa! <laughs> thank you so much, Tinksy! Uh -oh. And thank you, Flavitech! Oh my god. Thank you, oh everyone! Oh Sam my god! Sam breaks when you do things like that! Don't! Do that! Stop giving money! <laughs> oh, my oh my god. Stay strong. <laughs> for the puppers! Come for the puppers! Let's go! Oh my god. Wow. Thank you, Tinksy. Thank you, everybody. Um, wow. Tinksy knows oh, rent just... <laughs> Wow. Oh, good boy. Take that. <laughs> oh, yeah! Change it quick! <laughs> Tell no one. I will fight for you. <laughs> wow. Um, so that, Where are we at? Uh, How far okay. are we? I mean, according to this, if this is accurate, um, a random character... Uh, well, you know what? I'm going to save that one as a surprise for a second. Save, We've save, unlocked save. one Dom time tier. Uh, oh, sure. And two episodes of Hero Pups. <gasps> Whoa. Is that right, Tom? Whoa. Wait, what? We hit what, 800 already? Wow. Holy oh God. my God, we got Hero Pups. We got two Hero we Pups We got two already. Hero Pups. Oh my God. Dang. We haven't oh started what we can do yet. I'm going to say Tixie and Amy. Oh my God, Thank you. Putting people to shame. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Every dollar, Everybody. every bit, wow. every cent counts. Yes. Season just got two episodes longer. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm uh, available. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Have for some hero pups. Wow! Yeah. Oh my god. You're welcome to be a hero pup if you wanted to. Uh, <laughs> everyone could be a hero pup. 
Um, all right. So here we pop in their own way. So <clears throat> that is House Glacial. Yes. Um, Marquia, tell us a little bit about your house. House Van Damas. Oh gosh. We are a noble diplomatic house. We know what to do with words, and we know how to do them, and we are filled with facts, <laughs> just facts. Everything we say is the truth. In fact, our house motto is oh. always tell the truth, unless lying is better than lying. It's not a Frankie mm. rule of acquisition. <laughs> you might have an ancestor who becomes a villain sometime <laughs> later. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> we are the best house, Van Damas. Thanos King. To <laughs> say. Uh, yeah, so House Van Damas is uh, a three, which makes them fire-ish. Um, oh, and thank you, Inspark, uh, and PFW Scott, and Skittles Pink, Blizzard Star, uh, Maru Ye, and MJA Sono. Oh, thank you, LaSalle. thank you, LaSalle. And uh, Uneasier Davy, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Um, and the lead of our house right now is Lady Potty, um, called the Lavender Tongue. Oh my god. Um, yeah, okay, so. I love it. <laughs> moving right along. Um, Sam, we are I... a three. We're fire ish. <laughs> Sam, why don't you tell us about you? Go ahead. <laughs> Hello. I'm Rodrigo Monicelli of House Monicelli. We own things. <laughs> the Monticellis uh, are decadent bankers, uh, and uh, their family number is a four, which makes them ice-ish. Um, and uh, 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 Gina. All yeast rise for the high breadwinner, the slicer of loaves, breaker of bread. The Lady Brioche of House Penem. Ah! We are but simple sneaky farmers. <laughs> Our house motto, the bread of the bread is bread. <laughs> All of the bread, that is what we do. We are farmers so beg bread. That is all. Oh, you do? Yes. <laughs> that sounds very suspicious. We provide all of the bread for all of Lepteros, and our goal is to franchise over to Westeros and Aesop. The fact that you're not blinking is very terrible. <laughs> right you can't blink when baking. You never know if you'll make a mistake. Oh, boy. Ooh. House oh boy. Hanum is a yes. four, which makes them uh, ice-ish. Uh, thank you, sir. We're a little passionate, but mainly we need skills for baking. Ice-ish. Um, and uh, Ravity, uh, tell us about your house. Four words, be gay, do crime. So <laughs> I am playing the reckless military of this, y'all. Um, ours, our mascot is a flaming torch, and you can see us coming a mile away. Maybe that's why you got forgotten in the north, House of Glacial, because you weren't loud enough. But we will always make our presence known. Welcome to House Argyle. We plan on winning this. We're standing right behind you. <laughs> I believe that House Argyle did not come here to make friends. We did not come <laughs> here to make friends. Would you like some bread? No, thank you. But bread for all. Are you not hungry? Oh my god! Oh, oh, yes. 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 Thank you, oh Elias, again! Oh my god! Yes. Totally right, Elias got paid! <laughs> <laughs> sure, we'll take your bread. Thank you. You must have fuel to sustain your armies. It's the only way we can spread the agenda. All of the bread agenda. <laughs> oh. What is this agenda you speak of? Uh, it's our ancient scroll, actually. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and uh, you know, we've been we've been spreading it since the beginning of time. So mm. you'll learn soon enough once we take down your house. Ha house Argyle. It's impossible. Uh, We're in a floating castle. You can't get up here. <laughs> and we will kill you with words. <laughs> House Argyle is a two, which makes them uh, fire all the way, yep. um, as you might have picked up. We're also there. a flaming torch, so in case you forget, our mascot is a flaming torch. 
Uh, and so uh, there is another reroll from Kaga to the players. Mm -hmm. And Texas Devin gives one to the players. Ooh. Uh, and now. We can make a lot of <coughs> Finally, so much for speeding through the announcements. We're done. Uh, <laughs> There was a lot more than just there an was, Oh, it was. There was a lot more. Yeah. yeah. So um, it was celebrating <coughs> and threatening. <laughs> I mean, Not if you do it right, yeah. they go hand in hand. <laughs> Lady Brioche understands. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's say <clears throat> whatever you need. I need a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tyler Boyce. Uh, hey, thank you. We're going to get along. <laughs> <laughs> we so, both like dough. Quite a lot of dough. Mm -hmm. Left ah. Lefteros is a lot like Westeros. It has a north and, uh, you know, a lot of warring families and so That's on. That's all the directions. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very strangely similar. It exists um, on a plane of existence. Yes. For the bits. It's but, England turned upside down, but then right side up again. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, I have a puppy at my feet. Hello, Harold. Harold the Pupper's in the studio tonight and is walking around under the table. And, and snoring. Stop oh, for butt snoring. scritches, so I gotta scritch the puppy's it's butt. True, because you are obligated. I am obligated. Oh, and thank you, uh, yeah. Kung Fu Fat yeah. for the bit. Yeah, it's human beings. Um, and uh, each of you, um, let's say, uh, what is the name of your current lord or lady? Ah, uh, Lady Creamia. No, I'm sorry, Queen. I have proclaimed myself Queen. It was a long, thought out process, and I decided. I'm Queen of the North. <laughs> <laughs> and and your current Lady Party. Lady Party Van Damas. Also known as the Lavender Tongue. Ooh. We don't need to have any other kind of titles because we own everything with our words. Your current liege. Yeah. Rodrigo. 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 Mm. Lady Brioche. Oops. We can't lose this one. <laughs> like that that pun is too precious. <laughs> I do nothing but break the break the realm's bread. I don't break it, you break it. Sometimes I break it. If you're in my home, <gasps> then we... we break the bread together. What thank you, Zarkin. Oh, thank you. Uh, oh. Sir Stetson. Sir Stetson. You've met my cousin. <laughs> I have. Oh dear. She's so... delicious. Whoa. Yes, she was. Mm. What? So, <laughs> did well, that, no, I got dark very quickly. What, what are the is Lannisters that? going on? <laughs> right. Sporting my Lannister shirt tonight. I was a, I was a Lannister's um, uh, um, supporter, um, which was good for a lot of the run. But you know, I, I don't want to spoil anything. But <sighs> was so, it though? Later did though. Um, Stark to say what? Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> I feel pretty burned on behalf of my house. Uh, I mean, out of game. Because house oh. ratio. <clears throat> yeah. The, I see what the puns have begun. The puns have begun. Becca puns, <laughs> let us know what you think in the chat. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, each one of you, um, Queen Crema, Lady Party. Um, party. Or, party. P A W T I A. Uh, oh, it's a W. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Party. Um, uh, Lord Rodrigo, Sir Stetson, uh, and uh, Lady Brioche. Um, you are. Uh, you are each at your castles. You are living your life. Thank you, Mini Marker. Uh, thank you, Bondo. Thank you, everybody. Oh my God. What's going on here? Oh my god, Hero Pups episode three. Oh my god. Episode three. We did a trilogy of Hero Pups. That's crazy. And oh wow, thank you so much, everybody. I really never, yeah, I thought this would get to three, but never I don't know if we have that many dates. <laughs> <laughs> like, really, though. You'll just have to do That's a double happened. long episode. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, the pup that traveled to Apocalypse. <gasps> Thank you, oh, Elizabeth. Nice. Our destroyer of worlds. Oh, yeah. good to see you. So yeah, you're each doing your thing, <laughs> and and one by one, you are each visited by um, uh, a person who you are probably familiar with to varying degrees, but all of you know somehow just from his uh, infamy. Um, he's known throughout the land as Littlefinger. Um, uh, by the way, oh, I should have said a little bit earlier. Um, we are. 
probably just towards the end of the War of the Kings. Joffrey is king. Ah, uh, okay. About as many people as I want to be alive are alive. Okay. Um, we're at some sort of <laughs> non-specific point, like right there in those middle seasons. Look, if we're not in <laughs> Westeros 616, that's fine. <laughs> Um, and yeah, and Littlefinger uh, visits you one by one, um, and uh, he he uh, he reaches out to you, um, and he invites each of you to come uh, to Lefteros Landing, uh, where there is a fort, and um, he says it is absolutely in your best interests. Um, you are being invited by the king, and turning down a king's invitation is. Well, I should probably try and challenge her. Um, turning down the king's invitation would be a terrible idea. Um, oh. Oh. Solid. Those um. five days in London. <laughs> <laughs> he promises each of you that there is something in it for you. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, alludes to, you know, your various house interests. He, he talks about spreading the word of the Lord of Frees. Oh. Um, he, he, he talks to you about... Does he perhaps have the combination that we require to open our family chest containing a valuable compass called the One Piece? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. A lavender tongue. It was very elegantly done. Um, no, yes. I, I don't know that, but uh, I can uh, talk to you about extending your lands and your titles. Ooh, that is also what nice. And uh, he he comes to you uh, and <gasps> I'm an amateur pepper nickel. What's wrong with me? Aww. <laughs> uh, and, and and he comes to House uh, Monticelli um, and uh, he, he he talks to you about coming to the meeting and and not turning down a, a king's offer and, and and he sort of alludes <sighs> you. You wouldn't want Joffrey uh, taking too close a look at this house now, would you? <clears throat> Best you show up. <laughs> and you get the feeling he, he's got something on you. And, and he comes to you, um, House Padam. Welcome. Hello. Come. I accept right away. This will be the perfect time for me to set up a meeting in order to franchise within the kingdom. <laughs> Once he tastes our bread, he cannot deny. And he looks at the bread, and like suddenly he's all freaked out because like this is way too easy, and he's just you know, uh, I'll, I'll I'll save this for later. Um, meaning of night. Oh. Thank you again. Uh, meaning of night. There's our official carrier penguins. Go check out today's official carrier penguin. Uh, Tempting fate RPG. They're the like, Stark penguins. They're really adorable. Um, <laughs> and uh, he comes to um, House Argyle. Hello. <laughs> I like Can your I hat. Help you? Oh, uh, yes. Um, <laughs> and he offers you the invitation, and, and he alludes to the idea of being able to spread the word of the agenda. Um, you know of the it, agenda? I, I have heard of it. Although, What's your favorite passage? Uh -huh. uh, it is difficult to pick just one. I understand completely. Mm. Well, that's good to meet you, friend. Uh, it's good to uh, meet you. I take the invitation. <laughs> and I hand him a flaming torch. Uh, thank you. I'll For the trip back. Eat this later, and he puts it in the pocket with the bread. <laughs> um, <laughs> mini marker, thank you. Hey, um, thank you. I don't even know what the tears are. I guess we're in Dom time tears? Uh, yep. Oh, Dom's giving a weird oh, look. That yeah. look. Oh, that look. Oh, that was a look. That was a look. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like you've got look. things coming. <laughs> And, and you are each invited to come, and you are each entitled to take, um, uh, say, 10% uh, of your troops with you. Um, mm. Each of you have a few thousand troops as a house. Yes. Um, uh, and uh, say 10%, so. Do math. Do, do your own math. Right. Yes, I'm not going to go through all five. Yeah, we want to roll below a... average. Awesome. Cool. <laughs> no, that's great. Take, take away a couple of zeros. You're good. <laughs> and, and you each travel there uh, from your own direction, and uh, along the way. Um, Everything seems peaceful, and you arrive, and you are actually sort of, each one of you, you're all surprised at how little royal presence there seems to be. Given a visit from King Joffrey, you would think that there would be all sorts of troops and hoopla and ships in the harbor, but it's like, 
Mm-hmm. Lefteros Landing seems very quiet. It is guarded by a small contingent of King's Guards. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, you you each approach from different directions. Um, you see like a plume of smoke approaching and that's us. Yeah, we, we're just like leaving wreckage in our wake. <laughs> just just literally setting fires as we as we enter. One it's portion great. of the keep starts getting feeling a little snow and they look up and descending from the <gasps> clouds is cancel Castle Van Leith. The whole castle was flown down from the north. Whoa. To hover. Wow. Okay. Gas bills mm-hmm. You yeah. see a series of chariots all decked out. All of them are lavender, and out steps uh, House Van Damas. All of them wearing lavender outfits, and their crest is a uh, a scroll being signed with a diamond quill. Ooh, fascinating! What if a stretch hammer were a carriage and entirely gold? <laughs> Today you find out. <laughs> <laughs> like I said before, we are a bunch of farmers. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, thank you. this <laughs> shit goes on. Little, thank you. As I'm here, looking like a fool with a bunch of wagons. But we have our sign. Um, where, where, as we're going along, you can stop at one of our wagons and buy our bread. Mm. There's a bit, we're all dressed as chefs. It's quite cute. <laughs> okay. How dare you? Um. <laughs> and and when you arrive, uh, the the drawbridge comes down, and uh, I offer hot pies to every one of the gods. <gasps> and, and and they seem hesitant at first, uh, but then you hear it's okay, enjoy. And uh, little finger emerges from the castle, uh, giving the guards permission to try. And he he looks up the castle above him, and he's not a guy who's used to you know. Show, telling what's on his mind, but you you know he clearly looks impressed uh, by the floating castle. Um, yes, we all are. <laughs> it is quite impressive. Oh. Uh, Much better than House Monticelli could ever do. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. You just hear. You just hear. <laughs> okay. like, ooh, from you House must Argyle. be House Argyle. That's right. Your hey. noise precedes you. <laughs> <laughs> We're very excited to be here. I can tell. Oh, I see you got a little fire going on there. If you need a little help baking some of that bread, let us know. Oh, could you? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Please fire, yes. And then we go help them set up some stoves. Thank you. It's mm. great. <laughs> Such beautiful stoves. <laughs> okay. <laughs> La- Lady Party sta- stares at Rodrigo and is like, <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you again. Good to see you, Rodrigo, I would say if it was. Oh, come now, there's no need to be like that. Not on such a beautiful day with such uglier people. Uh, Mm. It was a beautiful day before just pure lazy decadentness entered into it. Oh, there's no need to bring her up. <laughs> Lady Poppy like chuckles and like and then tries to bring it back together. Mm, Queen Crema, uh, Queen Crema throws out a, a, a rope ladder and climbs down. Oh, welcome, yes. Lady Crema. Mm, indeed, she's wearing big boots, and you can see the banners waving from above. It's a uh, an icicle protruding from the eye of a skull. Yes, I can't wait to kill everyone here. I mean, negotiate. Watch your words, Lady Crema. The quiet part out loud. <laughs> yes, there's nothing I hide. You must be Rodrigo. Did you say something about me? I couldn't possibly. It made me want to put an icicle in your eye. Do, but do you have one? Um, not handy. I'm sure you'll pick it up. Certainly. But I have thought that through, and it would be illogical. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you again. And thank you, Aki. Hey, Aki. Oh, Aki. Oof. Why are we here, little finger? Yes, perhaps we should move in away from prying eyes and listening ears. Uh, my guards will help your troops settle and mm-hmm. take your horses into the stables. 
Um, and uh, and they do. And uh, Littlefinger uh, leads you inside, and uh, he he leads you uh, through the castle. Um, and uh, it is an old castle. It looks mostly abandoned. Littlefinger explains as he goes. Um, Lefteros Landing was once the most impressive castle in all of Lefteros, but it fell into disrepair when uh, uh, Sir Javius was killed by his son, uh, Landgrave Owind, who was killed by his son, um, Baron Ancia. Uh, thank you, Perfect Cosima. Now it's just a shell of what it once was. And uh, he leads you into, uh, <clears throat> you know, what's called a conference room. Okay, you know. What music is playing around in the background right now? <laughs> That's an excellent question. Of Casimir, <laughs> no, you, you don't hear the rain. Well, I mean, do you want to do some kind of investigation or? Yeah, I would like know? to. Yeah, I would love to investigate. What sure. is the musical yeah. tone of the room? Yeah. What is the musical <laughs> tone of the room? Sure. Well, we'll make we'll, we'll make a yes. Uh, um, uh, we'll excellent call that question. a fire Very roll. Question. You want to roll over your number? Uh, yeah. Your house. What do you do? Argyle, you're reckless too. military. Reckless and military. All right, you're probably pretty. Uh, you're probably pretty observant. Your military types. Yeah. Um, uh, you can roll. Three. Yeah, there's a little more light of the seven. Like there are um, too many different. One oh, as the yeah. raven and two successes total. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so you look around and it, it pretty much drives what Littlefinger says. Um, the house looks. I mean, it's it's pretty abandoned. It's pretty empty. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no music playing that you can hear. But if there was music playing, you figure it would be sort of like pensive, you know, building drama music. Not quite like suspense or Got danger it. or anything Love like that. that. So a slow variation on chaos is a ladder, probably. Uh, Given that that's uh, his light motif. Oh, that yeah, yes. Ah. Oh yeah, that's a good call. Um, sound design by Sam Ooh. Ooh. Um But otherwise, Sam with the culture. yeah, you don't really notice anything. I mean, it's like, you know, like you said, the walls mm -hmm. have been yeah. stripped. You know, it's like the castle is pretty empty and, and, and everything looks around. Um, what I'll say is, you know, with, with... there's nothing one could potentially grab or take on the walls? Not that you see here. Mm. <coughs> um, you got three successes, so I'll say... Two um, successes, one as the raven. Oh, it was two successes yeah. and one as the raven. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so that's what you get from that. Okay. And then while you're looking around, you just hear this booming voice in your head. Uh, you're on with the three-eyed raven. Do you have any questions? <laughs> What's it? We make you for dinner tonight. Oh, what's yeah. it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, and the, the three-eyed raven peers through the multiverse into uh, into the spider-verse um, and uh, finds Aunt May. What? Continue. <laughs> we have guesses. Yeah. Um, and... Uh, <laughs> What is Aunt May making for dinner tonight? Um, Aunt May is having um, chicken salad. Oh, wow. healthy. Yeah. Thanks. Delicious. Three Eyed Raven out. Three Eyed Raven out. You know what I like to see another about day. <laughs> okay, <I'm> cold. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, it's like she, she's had some pretty extravagant meals in the past, so I figure now she's laying back a little bit. Ah, like, mm. uh, yes, like extravagant. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> lasagna. Lasagna, the extravagant. Sometimes it's stroke mm -hmm. She had lamb chops once, right? That's true. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we ask this a lot. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, um, that's all you get. And uh, Littlefinger sits the lords uh, and the ladies around the table. I'm glad you were able to join me. Even that puppy under the table. Um, <laughs> Sorry, my direwolf likes to visit. <laughs> what is your direwolf's name? Wheatney. Wheatney. Yeah. Oh, she's quite friendly. Dire wolf. <laughs> and and here, like, dire wolf. the direwolf do like a metal riff <laughs> under the table, like da na 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 yes. na na na. It's a talking, singing direwolf. <laughs> um, she's metal. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, and, um, he sort of looks at you and says, thank you for joining me, and I apologize for having to use subterfuge to bring you here. What? What? This invitation is not at the behest of King Joffrey. Oh, what no. about my French oh, no. Into being lied to. I understand. You've signed your death mm. warrant. This one. I see outrage beginning to stir. How unnecessarily provocative, mm. little finger. Thank you, Inchborg. I brought all I, of the bread. I had to make sure everyone would come and that there would be bread. 
Um, so invoking the king's name was a bit of a risk, but... You probably haven't even read the agenda. <gasps> um... Did he make promises to all of you as well? Indeed. That is the only thing that could have gotten House Van Damas here. I was told some of you had already <coughs> pledged to <coughs> love the Lord of Freeze. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> not. No. Oh. Huh. Not in this life or any other. Now, all I of my promises... All of my promises to you remain good, but they just will not be as easy to fulfill as that. See, I am here because I believe King Joffrey has set his sights on Lepteros Landing. He seeks to clean out the five families and claim this land and its resources for himself. I would <laughs> like to see that child try. Clean us out. His forces far outnumber your own, and many of the lords of Westeros would join him just because well, of how annoying they find all of you. More than oh, that's annoying. That's absolutely untrue. Not we are just better than no. them. Yeah, yes, well, I certainly Someone agree. Someone sounds jealous. But... Seems like Joffrey wants to start some sourdough with House Panel. <laughs> <laughs> if the five of you can stand together here and head off Joffrey's advance when it starts, well, it will... Spread the word of the greatness of the Lord of Freeze, and it will make more people anxious to read the word of the agenda. And you will have the chance to increase your lands and title beyond the boundaries of Lefteros, as we will need to push those forces back into Westeros. Mm -hmm. And we'll buy a lot of bread. <laughs> Now you're speaking my language. Yes, yes. You want us to band together with these houses. I mean, Monticelli alone, mm -hmm. all you have to do is throw some money at them and they'll just turn right over. And I'm Become sure if you make enemy. them a little too toasty, they'll just melt. Well, <laughs> I'll freeze you for that. <laughs> In due time. No rush, no rush. Thank you, DJ Who. Um... So we got, by the way, mini marker, sends a reroll to the player. Thank you. And DJ Who sends a reroll to me. Oh, no, wait. Oh. Sorry. Mini markers was to me also. Oh, Ooh. you did that on purpose. See, those are people who understand the mechanics of storytelling <laughs> and what. Okay. Um, I can make good on my promises. All of your things will come true. And I know Lord Croc of the McDonald's clan, so. He will be able to help Ooh. you with your franchising concerns. Oh, Ooh. partnership. But only if you survive. Well, I plan on it. That is the goal, unless the Lord of Freeze seeks to do otherwise. And always follow the Lord of Freeze. Also, I'm already dead. But just, you mean like double dead? Um. Can that happen? Yeah. Did everybody yes. hear that? That that they said that they they are dead. Well, look at them. I say we try stabbing <laughs> them. <to make> it, <laughs> you know, let's just let's just try stabbing them. Do like, you bleed? Oh, yeah. I can definitely curious. double die. I've just died once. Oh, so. how did you die the first time? Out back. I'm told you only live twice. Mm. That's true. And there are worse it's a things than being motto. dead. <laughs> there are worse things than being dead. That child who calls himself king is sadistic in ways that decent people will not describe out loud. It's true. And I you say, could have to be in a room with him. Mm. Mm. That was what I wanted. What? I wanted a meeting. Well, you won't have to deal with King Joffrey if no. you can establish contact with Lord Croc. Mm -hmm. And the Burger King. I assure you, nobody wants a meeting with Lord Joffrey if it can be avoided. Well, yes. So you're saying, little oh. finger, <laughs> the thing that you wish of us is for us to somehow get along. I'm asking you to stand together to keep your power out of Joffrey's hands. Now, <laughs> what you do between yourselves is your own business, but as long as Lefteros is left standing, what do you say? We bend together to destroy one and so that we have a bunch of more people to recruit to fight each other later. Sure. I'm... On one condition. Each of you 
attend a timeshare seminar for the Lord of Freeze. And a frozen sure. castle. Just the seminar. You well, just okay, have to do that. I promise. I promise. I that. That. Then I won. They say I that accept. all the time. Show one. Oh, one handshake. God. Believe me, I have I have done contracts before. It is not just that seminar. You it's will just be there me. all day. But it's just one day. lady speaks the truth. Mm. I always We should that all that attend the seminar. You should be open to new ideas. I attend it. I accept. There'll Excellent. be bread. I can bring the bagels. <gasps> Bagels are great for seminars. Yes. Now we have the cream cheese. <coughs> A queen crema. Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Becca explains Becca puns. <laughs> Let us know what you think in the chat. Um, and, and, I hope there's high security as well. Good locks. And, and as you're talking, suddenly like the castle begins to like rumble, like like an earthquake. Uh, oh. and, and and little fingers. Oof. What was that? I don't know. I've heard this region, region was seismically active, but never quite felt something uh, like that myself. What is a seismic? It means the ground goes shaky. Oh. Of its own free will? <sighs> Does it, it not do happen in your what? part of the kingdom? No, it's if the ground is shaking, it's usually because some sort of creature is milling about. In the north, everything is perfectly still and pristine at all times. When things start shaking, that's because they're melting and warming up. Usually when things shake, it's because we cause them to shake. Mm. Did you do this? I don't know, I don't know. I, haven't, I should you check my check. men. Mm, I should yes. go check my men. You they know. were setting up stoves. They, they were. dropped one. God, th there's the answer. There is the ancient omen. Shake and bake. Mm, yes, yes, that was a previous house motto. Uh, and, uh, shake and bake. He, he sort of stands up. When we were friskier and younger. Uh, yes. So how do we agree? Yes. Yes, we uh, yes. agree. To we get to kill Joffrey? <gasps> well, we're saying about pushing him out of Lafteros, making oh, sure that he. We what have several we... cliffs. Very. Mustn't always come down to killing. Burn no, there are press. other ways people can Ooh, deeply frozen. Two icicles. Just, what in each there eye. are worse mm. things than death. We can push him out of Lefteros and bankrupt him at the same time and make him look bad in front of everybody else in Westeros. Oh, you're and then what will mess with us again. You're a humiliation kind of ruler. <laughs> I appreciate this. Your words are wise, but watch your back with Joffrey and watch your backs with each other. Now let's get some sleep. The are hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Too hot. The sriracha chips are also, also <laughs> those are also brutal. Careful. Yeah, some popcorn to calm, calm it down. So, in the night, uh, say all the lords and ladies recess to their various rooms. Mm -hmm. um, queen. You know, if you're gonna call yourself queen, you're definitely not gonna want to fall under Joffrey's thumb. Mm. Um, and queens recess to their room. Um, and uh, who got the vision in the fire? Oh my gosh. Oh, of fire. course it had to be you, the patron saint of trash fires. <laughs> yeah. so you go back to your room, and uh, yeah, you are, you know, you're getting ready for bed, um, and uh, suddenly um, uh, the, the, the garbage can in the corner just erupts into flames. Um, and, 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 and you stare into the fire. You've, you've heard of such things before. You've heard the legends of the Red Witches and their powers. I wrote about it in the agenda. You've read about it in the agenda. Mm. Uh, man, that sounds like a good book. Um, <laughs> it's a and, great book full of really interesting passages that are all absolutely there. <coughs> Continue. And, and, and you stare deep, deep, deep into the yes. fire and you see a vision uh, of, of things to come. What do you see? Okay, I'm gonna make this up as I go. Let's go. Um, I see the earth shaking once more. I see the earth shaking <laughs> under my feet. feet. I see the okay, yeah. sky tumbling down. Just, just that song. Why? <laughs> Nothing yeah. else. The sky tumbles down. The yeah. end. Um, no, in in uh, in the flames that are crackling, I see uh, the earth move, and in um, as it splits open. Um, from all its shaking, out crawl three more dire wolves, um, and they reunite with Wheatley, and they run, and they, uh, like, they run together as, like, a pack, 
and they leap and in through I see them through the flames and they uh they they attack a dark growing force and uh Ooh. that's that's all I see my and babies uh, yeah yeah. Are they protecting us or are they going against us? I don't know. It, it is exactly like you described. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's weird and, and you go back and sort of just meditate on what you've seen. Is it the future? Is it a weird dream? You you don't know. I dream about dogs a lot. So. <laughs> Man, I wish I did. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's probably just, you know. And, uh. Um. Who. Did we decide who got that favor from the House of Black and White? No. Mm -hmm. Yes. It was you. No, no. No, no? you were dire wolf. Oh, you were the dire wolf. Yeah, you were the dire wolf, yeah. Uh, but you're also I'm also the house. That's, I'm cool with that. I think you should have nice things. Okay. We don't have to. Ooh. You, oh, no. You return the to your room. Kill us all. And, and, and just <laughs> lying right on your bed, there is a scroll, and you open the scroll, and, uh, you know, I won't read you the exact message, but... It is a message, you know, from the House of Black and White. You have done them a favor in the past, and they are ready to repay it to you now. <gasps> Interesting. Mm. Yes. And it could be anything, or any, right now, anyone. Right uh, now, right. Oh, uh, no, no. It is oh. whenever you want it. Excellent. Um. So that is. Uh, and. Oh, How many dogs? Three more. Yes, three more. And okay, and you great. return to your room, and and when I'm you get dog. back to your room, there is just the biggest guy you have ever seen in your life. He must be seven feet tall. Looks like a like a like a, like a wrestler or something. And he's just like, hi there on the mountain. Uh, you must have heard of me. I'm I'm world famous throughout this. World, I guess, um, and uh, I, I would like to be your sidekick um, uh, through, through this battle. I, I have heard of oh House um, Monticelli, and um, well, frankly, um, it would be my honor to uh, just pound whoever you want into the ground. Um, I'm, 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 I'm your mountain, whatever you need. <laughs> How's it going? Well, mountain climbers feel no shame. <laughs> I think we move on from there. And uh, yeah, he goes oh, to stand no. guard at your door. <laughs> I was going to, to do a spit take, Sam. <laughs> that was really bad. <laughs> oh no. no! The dice decided. Oh, they wow. know how this works. Wow. They know what I am. Just check out the mountain. Climb that mountain. <laughs> no spit takes. I have to clean that up. I know. Um, uh, oh, and thank you, uh, uh, Beryl, Beryl, Lizzie. Oh, thank you. Paralyze. Paralyze. Yes, thank you. Wow, we should just yes. have Becca read these. Power. Um, we should have more Becca, yes, And, and Paralyze gives two rerolls to the players. Yay! Oh. Paralyze! Um, and yeah, so you have got the mountain. You have got your vision in the fire. You have got a favor from the House of Black and White. Ooh. Um, everybody's got their secret objectives. Yeah. I feel okay. like Paralyze sent me these. <gasps> Somebody sent me these. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> See, this is why he hasn't finished the mm -hmm. books yet. He's too busy posing for leggings. Yes. 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 <laughs> Merchan A noble goal. With Merchandising, better. yeah. With, know, where the then, real uh, money from the books are made. GRRM's face all over your crotch. Nothing better. <laughs> 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 Um, <laughs> I just had so many thoughts. That that's that's it is almost that's happened. Statement I, mean, I never thought you know, I'd hear out loud. You know, the first time I didn't read that you had a second motto, <laughs> I go there. <laughs> <laughs> but here it is. Thank you for writing uh, every read. Family Woo. secret, it's always by accident. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so, yeah. Um, and, uh, all right. You are all alone in your rooms. Alone, okay. you know, the castle is sort of, you know... <gasps> Shut down for the night. Guards are watching. Um, yes. There, there will be a bell sounded uh, if um, Joffrey's troops are sighted. Uh, Littlefinger has relayed to you that he knows an attack is coming, but does not know when or from what direction. Uh, um, but they're watching out. So I know that they're watching out. 
homeboy doesn't trust them. No, um, for sure. 100%. So I, I would definitely like to, like, ask my men if I can to, like, set up, like, their own alarm systems. Like, even if it's just, like, some sort of, like, booby trap. Can I roll for that? Like, I don't know yeah, how we let's call that an ice roll. You want to roll under your number. You're military. Setting up traps, surveillance, stuff like yeah. that is probably good. You're all good at that. You can roll three. You want to roll uh, under your number. Your number is Under two. my number? Oh, uh, man. Wait, uh, it's ice, right? So, yeah. 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 Damn, number. I was hoping I would Denova, touch you. Denova, thank you. Hey, oh, hello. Hey. hey, thank you. Our uh-huh. good friend Um, Denova. One success, that's my number. One success. Yeah. You get some traps into place. You but lose, mostly we're partying. You lose a couple of troops in the process as the <laughs> yeah. traps like start like popping on them. Um, and uh, while that's going on, yeah, just like this voice pops into your head. and it's, You're on with the three-eyed raven. Do you have any questions? Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, if I go to sleep tonight, am I going to end up dead in my bed? Hmm. Um, well, that's hard to say. Um, <laughs> you uh, see all. You yeah, do I see do all. see all, I guess. Wow. Um, Seems like that'd be a yes or a no. <laughs> I, I I would say yes. <gasps> Great. Three eyed raven out. Great, thanks, bud. Uh, Sleep on the floor, my lady. Posse. Oh. Go ahead. Sleep on the floor. <laughs> yeah. um, lady Posse uh, is pacing around in her room and yanks a book from the bookshelf, which activates a secret passage. Let's let's see if yeah. that works. Why don't you roll? <laughs> so touch make an ice roll. Roll. Um, but she yanks the book. She's angry. <laughs> diplomacy. Uh, let's say. So what are you doing? You're just like you're ripping stuff off the shelves, or are you specifically looking for a secret passage? Not looking for a secret passage. Okay, so let's just call that. Just causing destruction. Just causing yes. destruction. Fire roll. You want to roll over your number? You can roll two. Two. Yay. Two successes. All right. Yeah. As you, you're just like trash in the room, just like, you know, just, I don't know, you're angry. As you do. Joffrey and Littlefinger and stuff. As and, you do. and you knock this have book to off. to stay here. Yeah, and, uh, and, and this door, the, the whole bookcase slides back, and there is a dark passage winding uh, around, and you kind of can't see where it goes from where you are. But Ooh. it, but yeah, it is there. Um, what are you doing? I have called my personal knight to accompany me in the room to stand guard. What's Her his name? Her name is Sir Her Lady name. Mel Isandra. Sir Lady Mel Isandra? Lady Mel Isandra, but she's now a <laughs> sir. S-E-R, yeah. S-Y-R? S-Y-R. S-E-R. S-E-R. I'll take it. <laughs> George R. R. Martin spellings. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, um, not as bad as Stephen King spellings, so <laughs> there's that. Uh, and I asked her to <laughs> Search the whole room top to bottom. Make sure there's no other entrance other than the door we came in through. All right, roll, make that an ice roll. You want to roll under your number. You can roll three since you're having your, like, you know, your personal bodyguard do this for you who's hopefully good at searching rooms. I feel like your I'm number just is... I rolled five. three sixes. Whoa! Why are you looking? Which are all fails. Um, your guard. Oh, that's a, sh- a beautiful fail. That's a good fail. Yeah, I mean, yeah. by the way, rerolls. That's... You can always reroll if you want. These are these are for the group. Um, you were, you know. I mean, on behalf of Sir Lady Mel Isandra, she's better at searching than that. So I'd love to burn one. All right, you can reroll one for each one. So it's like. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna roll one. Two. Okay. So. She searches the room, and uh, she is pretty sure that the room is clean. Um, it's, you know, the, the castle is very old. It uses construction methods she's not familiar with, but she did a pretty sweep through, and she's like, I don't think there's anything in here that's going to kill you. Sure. I'm going to ask her not to sleep tonight. I need her to stand watch. She's made me very nervous with her bed searching. As She's, you wish. She seems unsure. Um, and she sets up at the door just outside and gets ready for a long night of guard duty. What are you doing? Uh, letting my face breathe. Um, and I am going to have uh, some of my troops scout a perimeter under a floating structure. I'm very curious about anchor points under it. Just... Taking strolls, making no moves. Just curious about the architecture of certain roll, objects. Roll, um... And whether they could be tied down in extremis. 
You're probably very good at casing things, given who you are. So let's say you can roll three. You want to roll under your number. It's a nice roll. You can. Uh, your number's four. I am the foggiest. What you're talking about? Three successes. Um, you stand on the roof of uh, Left Rose Landing and study the floating castle above you, and uh, you get a, a really good sense for. Um, how, you know how it is constructed, how it is built, where where the the ways in are, where the ways out are. Um, what else are you looking for? Yeah. That's all for now. And with, with with three successes, I'll say you know exactly where the queen's room is too. You, you can tell that from the outside. Um, and what are you doing? Me? Well, now that I know that my pitch is 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 gone in the wind, um, I have retired to my um, quarters and I'm playing with wheat me. Um, I have instructed all of my bakers to, um, you know, guard the 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 ingredients and 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 make sure that no one steals the rest of the bread. Um, that it should be distributed, you know, evenly, bread for all, equally. Um, and, um, sort of just having a nice quiet night in. <laughs> um, there's a fire, there's a bowl of water to wash my face in, which Wheatney has very graciously turned into her water bowl. <laughs> um, everything seems, I, you know, this is just a nice vacation. <laughs> I'm away. There's, wait, there's no alliances. Things are looking up. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Is that on me? Yeah. Oh, Whitney, down. Down, down, down. No, her. Oh, her. feisty tonight. Who is it? Hello? Uh, sorry, I got lost in here. Her. You got lost in where? In his castle. What did you do that for? Try to find things. Excuse me, hello. Can I peep through a peephole? <laughs> They're like, this is fun. <laughs> I want to look through the keyhole. Who is it? Uh, a nondescript youth <laughs> uh, in oh, the colors you? of uh, House uh, Monadelli. <laughs> oh, a youth. <laughs> Would you like some bread? I, I believe you have a master you want to take this back to? Well, I would love some bread. I'm so hungry. Hello! My, la my lady! And I fall to my knees before the lady brush. <gasps> I, I didn't, I didn't oh. know. Oh, my, my, it was just That is all right. She is in her dressing gown. Pardon, I, I cannot even <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Arnie. Oh, you. oh, it is all right, Wheatley. It is a youth. Wheatley's like <laughs> gotten, gotten close up and it's just kind of like hackles are a little raised. It, it, is it my seems own. the mammals don't like you much. Well, either way, here's some bread. You are far, far too kind, my lady. That is what everyone tells me. You know, I, I learned once of a word for, for those who fall in love with those of your house. You eat it? Depan sexuals. Oh, that is I take somewhere. A, I lean back and I take a bite of bread. My. And lean in your doorway. My. Oh. Well, how old are you? <laughs> Not that kind of youth. Okay. Like, <laughs> like we're thinking Morris Tyrell. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah um, Wheatney uh, appreciates the, the pun and just kind of sits and is like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like let's see. <laughs> Ears flop a little. Mm. I'll turn away and go back down the hall. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Toasted my buttons that bit. <laughs> Come on, Wheatley. <laughs> what a nice day. <laughs> Close. And, and you are still got it. <laughs> you are in your chamber uh, when there is knock, and uh, it is uh, uh, Lady Sir Melisandre. Um, I was just about to take off my necklace. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I did. 
And uh, uh, I think there's something you better see out here. Um, and she just takes you into the hallway, and you see, you know, there is, you know, one of those windows cut in the stone. Um, and she points out, and uh, you see riders disappearing away from the castle, and she says, uh, I think Littlefinger and his guards just left. What? Uh, is there a bell in the castle? Uh, there is. All right. I'm going down to the conference chamber, <laughs> and Lady Lady Sir Melisandre, uh, please go ring the bell, and hopefully we'll convene with all of the houses in the conference chamber. And, uh, yeah, you were all doing what you were just talking about mm. when uh, suddenly the oh. bells start ringing. There's a bell. Oh, is it that, that young one again? That I'm so... uh, oh, oh, not yeah, the you're doorbell. In... Yeah. Right. Um, you follow the secret passage, uh, and when you uh, open the secret passage, um, you find yourself uh, seeing um, Sir Stetson. Yes. Just leaving his room. The passage went from your room to Sir Stetson's. You uh, opened up from behind a bookcase. You did not see this happen, but okay. you sort of just opened it up in time to see Sir Stetson head off, and, and you hear the bells also. Oh, hmm. What a fortuitous pathway. At least this isn't Rodrigo's room. Why did I say that out loud? <laughs> <laughs> uh, out loud. She uh, closes the the door, uh, well, the bookshelf door, and uh, runs back to her room to then run out, rush out into the courtyard with everybody else. Rodrigo enters the conference chamber eating a piece of bread. Mm. Coming into the conference ch chamber after whenever you would get there. Yeah. Um, I... My clothing is like slightly burned, so like it's just there's there's little of little, little, little bit singed. of smoke. I'm singed. I'm singed. <laughs> um, it, it's been a pretty reckless night. Um, in the words of the agenda, can you believe? I think that we have been abandoned here. Whatever for? I don't understand. I think uh, it is a plot to set us up. To burn us all, or whatever it is that kills people that aren't undead and uh, trying not to be burned. Um, I think we need to perhaps mount an offensive. Hmm. Use the castle as a defense choke point? Or just be exceedingly offensive to one another. Work within our strengths. Hmm. Did okay. you take that from one of my wagons? Certainly not. Oh. Did you just ask Rodrigo if they steal? You know they do. I do not. I had not met them before. I don't deal with much money. Just go. I would follow you with interest. Hmm. Oh. Um, uh, my general uh, comes in, uh, and, and it's uh, another member of my family. Uh, oh. This is yeah. uh, Lord Pocket. Uh, Pocket. The oh, beige no. popper. <laughs> With a W. Uh, pocket. Yes, pocket. And Lord, Lord. I yes, see the resemblance. <laughs> uh, what does he have to say? They left. So, should we fight? Uh, and I'll say, uh, Lady Sir Melisandre comes running in at that point, being like, "I think we're gonna have to." Um, little fingers disappeared over the horizon, and. Well, I can see smoke in the distance. Yeah. Troops are headed this way. Your troops. My kind of smoke? And I like, is there a window in this conference room? Now this is coming from over the hills into Lefteros. What kind of uh, smoke? Westeros. Did it, do you hear like a faint uns, uns, uns with the smoke or was it mm. just silence? It, it was silence. Then I, that, silence. those are my people. That's not my smoke. I, no. I think Your people make a lot of noise. They do. They do. A lot of partying noise. We'd have a lot of fun. I think the king is coming. I, I think Littlefinger has set us all up. I have 500 troops that are in a ship. Some are in my castle above and some are catching up. We couldn't all fit in the castle. Uh, we have 600 that can fight. I brought 400 bakers. 
Hmm. All right. We can resource divisions. collect. Sure. Three hundred from me, but I could perhaps fund a mercenary regiment of some size to assist in our defense. Ooh. We have five hundred, and they will all fight. I don't know if my soldiers will fight alongside yours. Or, or they'll need to be on the opposite end of the battlefield. Just there's just, like, heat coming off of you. That's it's very off-putting. We don't want to be close to you either. Got it. And, and I while, ship it as a standard action. <laughs> <laughs> and, and while you're talking, there's another little sort of earthquake-like tremor. Um, and yeah, you can, again. you can start to hear activity out in the castle. Look at that, I reached out for your hand. What? My, my. I'm feeling all things today. <laughs> Yeah, you can start to hear activity get in the castle. All of your troops are sort of, you know, waking to the fact that there is an army closing in um, that looks much bigger than the two or three thousand troops that uh, hmm. you have. Can we all escape in your castle? Uh, the, the, I think of it this <coughs> way: you can start your seminar early. I mean, I'm happy to, but you can't step onto the cloud that holds it unless you've died and been reborn and vow to pledge your soul to All the of Lord of Freeze. Do a lot of planning. Oh I usually God. just yell charge at this point. Oh. Mm. Sir Lady, could you please assemble our troops in formation mm. outside of this castle? Yes, ma'am. And uh, she she runs to do it. By the way, yeah, I was giving out rerolls. It was Denova had one for the players, and Arnici had one for the players, and Lucy's Marth had one for the players. Yay, um, yes. And uh, yeah, we will go back um, to uh, we were you were in the conference room uh, deciding on a strategy. Um, Littlefinger has abandoned you. Joffrey's forces have been spotted on the horizon. Um, I, I will say, uh, Sir Lady Melisandre tells you it looks like they are. Less than a day's ride away. Hmm. Less than a day's ride away. We should reinforce what we have and work from there. We have more than enough to outlast a siege of any length. Yes, oh, wow. and we have the high ground. <laughs> yes, so um, much on that bread. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> it really is. Thank you. Well, we can feed us forever, ma'am. Yes, forever. Hmm. I only need more stores of ice to sustain me and my troops. And we have plenty in the castle above, so long as access is not cut off. Mm. So you are twice dead, and you... Just once. Eat ice. Once That's dead, correct. twice shy. Shall we search the castle? Maybe they, the previous owners left things. I'm really good oh, at reinforcing things. I'll start on the outside wall. Hello. Thank you, my Does anyone Lord. else think Lord Pocket is a reanimated corpse? Is it just me? I'm used to. I don't I, have I, the gate off or something. I heard that. Mm -hmm. um, what the mountain who's standing like right behind is like, ooh, reanimated corpse. That gives me the chills. Yeah, God. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. Yes, God. It's good. I have a little chill, dear. And, and then he munches down on some bread. My Lord. Yeah. If Joffrey's host has come here, mm -hmm. they have come over sea. Their ships could be burnt and they could be trapped. Their d host crushed, destroyed, driven before us. We I could am hear the lamentations. Of entirely the for that idea. Um, I can take my men. We can go burn down their ships easily. Like kindling. We'll make it a party. Uh, you seem rather bored even by the notion. You I, must do this I, a lot. I, I, it's, it's, oh, it's, I suppose yeah, we can go in Too much planning, I understand. <laughs> Uh, we, we're, we're more into, like, you know, throwing a few hands as opposed to burning stuff. But, sure, sure, sure. But if they're all going to be here and they're not on their ships, you know, you kind of lose the... Oh, I'm but. not used to throwing hands, more just helping hands in the kitchen. <laughs> My priest could potentially freeze the water beneath the boats and then uh, crack oh. the holes. Ooh. We can use some of the oil from my stoves to light things from atop and burn them from above. Mm. Good, good. If it, a classic siege technique. Mm. If it helps any, I do have a small store of wildfire. <gasps> Where did you get such a thing? What? I bargained for it. What do you think? Hmm. Such a Lord Let me words. see it. I don't believe this. I'm That's sorry. Did you, did you just call me a liar? <gasps> Isn't that part of your house motto? 
uh, my house motto is that you always tell the truth. And that's lying is better than lying. I'm sorry, you what? You said lie twice. You said lie twice. I said I always tell the truth and that's lying is better than lying. That was one truth How and two lies. How dare lies. you? Two truths and a lie. Let's play again. Honor. No, no, sorry. Plan the siege. Lord Pocket. <laughs> Hurt it. <gasps> what? <laughs> oh Lord, no. Lord Pocket, okay. the beige popper. Get ready. <laughs> then steps. <laughs> so lady. Lord. Okay. Make it stop. <laughs> and pulls out a broadsword. I back up. You said we lie. You die. Wait, me, get over here. All right, so Sir Lady Melisandre gets in front of you and makes sure that you are protected from this oh. as you, mm -hmm. as Lord, Lord Pocket. Lord Pocket. I jump onto her back. I feel uh, safe up here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like Yoda up there on Luke's bag, yeah. Um, and oh yes, Queen Grima is very small. I'll call, uh, call Sir Beret. My all, all, all my guys are names after hats. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. So um, okay, so hang yeah. on. But you already gave the order, right? Yeah, right, yeah. You so got... let's call that a fire roll. You want to roll over your number? Yeah, uh, you can <laughs> roll. Lord Pocket is the beige popper. Is a giant oh, of a man. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. well, not a giant. It's a, it's a large, a but large so man and a skilled warrior with a broad Yeah, sword. no mountain. So and is not a thinker. No, not a mountain. No, not, not the mountain size. Let's say you can roll three. Okay. Um. <laughs> yeah. He's a skilled warrior. Uh, wow. So that's three successes. Oh, no, two yeah. successes. Yeah. Two, Two successes. Because one's under my number. Um, what was your number? Your number is... Uh, my number's three. Three. I know. I, I was oh, okay. thinking it was two. It's not. Um, yeah, okay. Um, yeah. So, two successes. Um, Lord Pocket comes and pulls his broadsword and just swings at you and, uh, we'll say, uh, cuts off your right arm. Oh, love it. Oh! oh! She's got a flesh wound! Oh, you got Jamie. Uh, oh, I did. You got that was Jamie so yeah, specifically yeah. right. It's just so oh, Harold, wow. Harold was so distraught that oh, he came no. to your aid. Oh, oh no! Oh, um, I'm sorry, it's baby. This game Harold. of Thrones. This happens. Okay, so literally, um, I I would say that you know we're pretty reckless. Um, because he's using a sword, I want to go close range, um, so that he can't. Right, so I'm gonna, I'm, 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 I'm literally gonna punch this guy with my left arm. So, is it, <laughs> so wait, so it's you, the so Lord, you or are you your severed <laughs> arm to punch him? No, it's Sir Beret. Is Sir, Sir Beret doing, doing it? it? Um, or wait, or wait, who, who, who got hurt? The well, Lord Pocket was going after for you. Stetson, right? Yeah. Then, yeah. then, then it's Stetson who's going after him. And you okay. solve your own uh -huh. problems. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we, we we go after our own guys, and we're gonna punch this out. Let's go. Um, but I would like to uh, grab the. Are we, like, is there any? There's like a wall sconce I can like tear off and use as like a yes. bludgeoning yes. object. Yes, yes. You can try. Yes. Um, we'll Please. call that. That sounds like a wild, passionate action. Yeah. You can roll over your number. Roll. Well, you're, you're missing an arm now. You're probably not used to tearing things off. But I'm mm. also reckless. But you're also reckless. Hey, you can roll two. <laughs> okay, You've great. lost an arm before. I've lost an arm before. <laughs> Thank you, back. Guys. You got better. Um, oh, above thank my you, Elias, again. Thank you for using yeah. me. Thank well, you, everybody. Oh, oh, wait, am I allowed to use it? Because I'm going against... Yes. Am I allowed to re-roll? Yeah, sure. Yeah, you can, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But you can only use up to three. Great. Two successes. Two successes. Roll three. Um, uh, Stetson punches, uh, Lord, um, Pocket. But do, wait, wait, yeah. with this wall sconce? Yes or no? Oh, yeah, well, there's yeah. a wall sconce. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you yeah. break the wall sconce off and just whoosh, swipe across and just, yeah. you know. I'm going for the face. Cracks him right because across. Because that's the money maker for you. I, I understand. <laughs> Lord Pocket, he's yeah. the beach popper. There's, there's, he's not a thinker. Oh, okay. <laughs> great, 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 great. So his, his, but his, his helmet, his helmet yeah. comes flying off and, yeah. like, cracks against his jaw. Love it. like a little... You know, there's, there's a, a wet splatter. Yeah, love it, there's, love it. Yeah, he's just like, oh. Okay. <laughs> he's, he's like, <laughs> nice, nice, nice hit. What are the What are the rest of the three of you doing? Just watching this? Popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, we've established. <laughs> all right, now we can keep going, uh, or I, I can fight all night. I would like. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're saying this one. Lady it's a Grima. Uh, so they yeah. were they were on one side of the room. Um, uh, Lord no, Pocket no, went no, to to uh, yeah. oh, uh, Stetson. 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 Stetson, and yeah. they're on Stetson. one side of the room. And so Lady Melisandre and me on her back. Uh, Lady Crema, Queen Crema are behind Sir Pocket, 
So uh, she's. I whispered for her to stab. Lord Pocket in the back. All right. You're gonna, oh. roll, you're gonna roll for uh, Lady Sharma Alessandra. Um, that is uh, fire. You want to roll over your number. You can roll three. Oh, it is getting spicy in here. Ooh. Two. Two. Yeah. yeah. And that sword just comes straight through uh, Lord Pocket's uh, chest, right through the back. Oh, and just, just a oh. one. Oh. Um, Let this be a lesson to all of you to not make any hasty actions in my presence. I want a calm and methodical battle against King Joffrey. While uh, she's ponti- pontificating, uh, Lord Pocket is staring down at the sword, like trying to figure out what's going on, and then turns around and stumbles forward and hugs her. Oh, I'm on the back of Sir Lady. Hugs them both. <laughs> yes! Okay, roll oh, fire. Crazy. You want to roll over your number, so you can roll you one. Just come on. you got a sword, no. you your gut. No. No. What? Are you trying to stab them both like a shish yeah. kebab? Yeah. No. Too late? No. She has to do it? No. Uh, yeah. Yeah? Success. Oh my god. One die? One, right. one die. Well, one, one die is successful. Lady doesn't get a saving throw? Success with consequence. I didn't lose it. From the Lord back. Pocket. <laughs> We're going to call that success with consequence, which means, uh, I'll say since it was only one die, you get Sir Lady Melisandre, uh, but you do not get uh, Queen Crema, who falls off Lady Melisandre's back as the sword hits her, but it also kills Lord Pocket yeah. because Lord, Lord Pocket is is uh like uh he he passes from this world where he's like good fight. Aww. And Sir Lady Melisandre, you're not dead, you are but you are stabbed. Like you know Oh no, no. Um, Sir Lady Melisandre. my Me- Melis- <sighs> That's easy for you to say. Sandra, yeah. Uh, I, I, I <laughs> kneel down beside her or maybe she's still standing because mm-hmm. she's pretty <laughs> I tend to her wounds Calmly, um, at all of the uh, the the you know, all the commotion um, <laughs> appearing from the shadows, like it looks like they just they were standing there the whole time, but we didn't know. Uh, Prita, the chrome thumb. <laughs> oh my God! That's 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 thank you. For so thank you. you. <laughs> uh, appears and looks at uh, Lady Potty and and makes like a a slit. Like slit throat motion towards. Uh, oh, towards oh my god! Uh, oh my god! Paralyzed. Oh wow! Paralyzed. What? What has happened? Oh, but what has happened? What is happening? But what is happening? What, what is, happen- what is actually is happening? Beautiful. Was that tear? Thank you, everybody. Oh Thank gosh. you, Paralyzed. Thank you, everyone. Oh my god! Oh my god! That smile. <laughs> oh, oh smile. god! I I know what that tear was. Oh, no, you no, do. Ain't I a stinker? Oh, um, Krita um, um, makes that motion, and then Lady Potty goes. Not Do me a favor, real quick, make an ice roll. You want to roll under your number. You can roll uh, two uh, to see I how this medicine goes. I, I, yeah. I was going to call for my maester. I can glue oh, it call for your maester? Yes, maester Baralize. Maester Baralize? Yes. Maester Baralize shows up. What can I do? How do I get down next to And uh, roll three Aww. since you've got a maester. Aww. Three successes, two, uh, three red ravens. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> So the maester goes to work on um, on uh, Lady Sir Melisandre. I, I can definitely fix her up, and uh, it's going to work. Um, and while he's doing that, this voice pops into your head, uh, Queen Krima. <laughs> You're on with the Three-Eyed Raven. Uh, do you have any questions? You get two. Three-Eyed Raven? Yes. To plan my attacks, I would like to know the exact uh, directions from which King Joffrey's armies will approach. Joffrey has uh, armies on foot and horse approaching uh, from, uh, from Westeros. And he has uh, a fleet of ships uh, being led um, uh, by um, Sir Skippy Greyjoy. Um, <laughs> that uh, white trash. Okay, but. Yes, who he's made a deal with. Um, Skippy. Skippy Greyjoy oh gosh, is the be. lesser of the Greyjoys. He's oh. looking to prove himself to his family. How can they be less? <laughs> put it away, put it down. Oh, Sam, <laughs> coming down hard on the Greyjoys. <laughs> really? Not that you're, there not is that you're one wrong. Bell on Greyjoys. <laughs> Bye. Yes. Okay, mm-hmm. and and while uh, you are sitting there, this strange green magic overtakes oh, the no! whole place and, and and runs throughout all of you. And and um and I am sorry to say once again, um, you find yourself all uh, transformed uh, instantaneously into Muppet. <laughs> Blood 
just now like oh God. Oh, it's ribbons. It's ribbons. It's they're just they're ribbons. pulling out scars. Never die. <laughs> We're not here yet, uh -oh. but I just want to show. Oh my! The possibility. God. What does this mean? What do you think? You cannot Sam, break. Who did they just give it to? Sam I mean, has an issue with pencils. Um, I, I think I know there's a tear on the table now. No. Um, whoa. No. I mean, no. No. no maybe. But it is their name. I know. Oh no! It's okay. Look. What? Why? Oh I'm not gonna God. stop what? the wheel. Uh -huh. Are we breaking the wheel? Not oh yet, God. we're not. <laughs> if the pencil a... breaks, the studio closes. What? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so many threats. Uh -huh. It's a big Promises. pencil. Um, um, so uh, Lord, Lord Pocket, uh, Muppet Lord Pocket is on the ground with like little X's. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah, it You'll, is now a beige color. You will now need to channel your Muppet voices in <laughs> more uh, Muppet I don't think I can get more Muppet <laughs> Yeah, yeah um, Tina has not. an unfair advantage basically being a Muppet in real life. It's true. Um, it's perfect. I apologize to all of you. Well, I'm uh, somewhat hasty seeming actions, but I had made a strong plan that I would fight anyone who fought uh, to preserve myself and my people. And, oh my god. And, and, and on that, uh, running in from the hallway, um, uh, animal, um, uh, animal blacksmith. And, and pulls uh, this this giant Valerian sword um, uh, from his sheath on his on his back, um, and uh, and animal lays the sword down um, and says, "Sword go to winner." Ah. So we're gonna play a mini game now to see who gets the Valerian sword. Oh, Where are you? Right. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Um, so how are we gonna do this mini game? Let's keep this know. easy. Okay. All right. Everybody, throw a d six. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Four. Four. Three. Six. Six! Okay, down to you two. Two sixes, roll again. Gina wins. Aww. You're bowing out? Bow out. Gina. Aww. What a... Aww, but it's not my birthday! Aww. Right, but I'm doing Hobbit traditions where you give other people things. Aww. Can't fight Hobbit rules. Why would you fight Hobbit rules? They're Hobbits. All right, Gina, Sam. you now have a Valerian steel sword. Okay. Ooh. I love that our baker has a Valerian steel yeah. sword. <laughs> the yeah. baker just, just goes... You could not... And Wheatney approaches <gasps> and, and, and Muppet Brioche, which is now in the form of an actual slice of bread, <laughs> just <coughs> hurls herself on top of uh, um, Wheatney, which was now a puppet dog, but is now for the moving scenes a real dog, and yeah. just <laughs> and rides me over to the sword. <laughs> And now it is a puppet dog again that's whimpering and sort of doing yeah, that. But it's very stylish. Very stylish. stylish. And has a has a, a black collar with like little spikes on it. Yes. Aww. And like little paw shoes. Yes. They look like leather boots. Can they oh. have tap dance vibes on them? Yeah. Well, they, they do that walk. The dogs do. No, it's yeah. definitely oh, a tap dance. The, yeah. the dog talk. The, yeah. the dog the, the dog, walk. The dog walk with the tap shoes on. All right, so you're getting used to your sword. Oh, you're all getting your... I'm stitching up my flesh wounds. You're Sorry, stitching up your sir. flesh wound. <laughs> you're helping Sir Lady yes. Melisandre get back to her feet. Uh, and while that happens, a fleet of ravens comes flying in the window. Oh, they're going to poop everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we got to do this. We lost a lot of time tonight, so we're going to yeah. go fast. Yeah. Okay. All right, and... Uh, Cowboy says, uh, Zoli and the family update. Yes. Everyone is well, and more babies have been born. Oh my uh, god! Zoli! No names yet. We are sadly gonna have to sell sugar and spice and probably the babies too. Hope you enjoy the update, Sam. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. I always appreciate hearing from Zoli. Yeah. Thank you, Cowboy. And uh, Dark of Nate says, uh, happy Sunday. Uh, some people uh, watching haven't seen Game of Thrones and were worried they wouldn't get the references, so here's the important stuff. It's as depressing as real world politics, but also there are dragons. Yeah. <laughs> the great houses are full of jerks, but have cool catchphrases, and one of them keeps giant puppers. Yeah. Uh, and if anyone survives tonight, Rick hasn't done his job. Enjoy. <laughs> also, happy birthday, Sam. Oh, wow, that sounds like a challenge. Um, okay, okay, I see. Some I mean, but some they can't it. die, so like. And um, neither can Muppets. They can double That's secret. That's true, die. it's like, it's kid rules. Tell that to Lord Pocket. 
Uh, and Asuka. His ghost is in the room now as a ghost puppet. Yeah, that's true, though. He haunts you with chains and whispers secrets to you. Mm-hmm. And puppets. And Asuka, XK, says, Chills uh, in your pocket. <laughs> my first live game in almost a year. Keep up the love and craziness. Hugs for all those inclined. Uh, thank you, Asuka, <laughs> and hugs for the hug inclined. Um, Criterion Nation 3000 says, Love you, Becca. Welcome back to Saving Throw Show. Aww. Um, and uh, Meaning of Night, our friend who does the carrier penguins, uh, says, uh, Happy Sunday and happy belated birthday. Day, Sam, yeah. for the throne. Um, and I, hey, some of us came prepared. We brought our thrones with us. Hey, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Excited, okay. mm-hmm. This I is am. true. Um, and BK Wright UK says, uh, "Welcome back, all, and happy birthday! Uh, happy birth yesterday to Sam." Aww. Uh, and Elias, right. thank you, Elias, um, oh, says, nice. unfortunately, I never got into Game of Thrones, so thanks for this. Uh, when any of your players die, uh, may you die with honor. Mm. Also, Hero Puppers Unite. Yeah, yes. the Hero Puppers yeah. are coming apparently in a big way. Thank you, Elias. Thank you, everybody. Um, and Heart of Handprint says, uh, here's to celebrating birthdays all weekend long. Uh, thanks for letting us <laughs> yeah, join in the celebration. Yeah. Thank you, Heart of Handprints. Yeah. And Losile, our friend, says, uh, uh, hope everyone is doing well. I got a new kitten. Uh, oh. Gray Malkin of Themyscira. Oh. And she's, what? Themyscira. Oh, I love it. And she's become best friends with my nine-year-old cat, Harry Potter. Oh. Put him in your house. Yeah. I know, yeah. You got what that name again? That? Harry, Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Uh, much faster than expected. P.S. So excited for Marquia, Ravity, and Sam on Geist. Can't wait. <gasps> yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, and Elias says, uh, Hero Puppers into the Pupperverse must be unleashed. Have a good night, everyone. <laughs> With love from Iowa. Yeah, unleashed. you definitely Thank unleashed you. it. Thank yeah. you. Uh, Thank you for the fun. I appreciate uh, you so much. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And Meaning of Night uh, says, uh, kicking goals, but taking names all the way to maximum pupper time. Yeah, oh my god. The pupper time to end all pupper times. Oh, man. Uh, well, at the, don't end all pupper at, times. Never end all pupper oh, times. <laughs> God, if Hero Pup Trilogy. Uh, um, and uh, Inspark an says, hope everyone is doing well. I get, uh, wait a minute. Did I read this one already? What, what, what? Say it again. Say it. Hope everyone is doing well. I got a new oh, kitten, uh, uh, Gray Malkin of the Mascara. Yeah. What an amazing coincidence. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, let me double check to make sure I got Yeah, it. we're going to fix that one. We'll come right back to it. <laughs> Serotonia says, uh, it was uh, so nice to get to hang out with you and Amy on Saturday in, uh, at NYCC. Oh, uh, oh hey, it's nice to hang out with you too. Um, also, uh, Sam, we had to get you the Hero Pups episode. Happy birthday from all of us from <laughs> Trump to Fade. What thank a good you. birthday. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. It's been the best birthday. Yeah. Aww. It's been such a good birthday. Aww. It's been such a good birthday. Uh, and Tinksy, uh, our, our old friend, uh, says, uh, Hero Puppers, <laughs> happy birthday, Sam. Thank you. Thank you, my Hero Puppers. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Uh, hero Puppers. I, don't know. Teenage, teenage, teenage I know, I know, I know. I know. <laughs> I don't know. They're being very cool yeah. and chill about this, like low key. I'm just the I most your chill. reaction would be more excited. <laughs> <laughs> Sam is famous for their stoicism. Um, yeah. And uh, okay, so Inspark says, uh, "Hope everyone is doing well." Um, thank you, Inspark. Uh, and um, uh, uh, blue, Elias says, uh, "Last tip, real. Uh, last tip for real for me." Um, chat. We must get uh, another episode of Hero Puppers. No, we need more than one. Also, screw House Monticelli. <laughs> Don't know, don't know if I spelled that right. Sorry, Sam, you're awesome, but screw bankers. I, oh, I, I thought it was a different why interpretation I have a problem of the, with the house. I, I, I'd rather be, yeah. I would rather be made undead. Oh, <laughs> damn. No. Those are so, problems. Here's a fun fact about bankers and undead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, bankers definitely worse than zombies. Oh, man, um, how terrifying. Should you be converted? <laughs> And Aki, uh, our good pal and uh, our former lockjaw, um, says, uh, happy birthday, Sam. Thank you, Tempting Fate, for bringing together an absolutely amazing group of fans. Uh, I've been watching in awe as they've crushed these donation cheers. You should be proud of yourselves. I know I am. Uh, thank you, Aki. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, it's like we are super lucky. You know, it's like there's, you know, the Internet is full of just terrible stuff. And uh, like we have done. Um, we have the good Internet. Yeah, we yeah. have the good Internet. And we are so grateful <laughs> yeah. for you all. We, we live um, on the good timeline here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we're Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, and with that, um, the ravens uh, spread their wings and uh, fly out the windows. I throw up bread for them and the, as, as a chorus and goodbye. And suddenly ravens are swarming 
everywhere <laughs> eating bread, uh, which is just like all oh, over God. the ground. Oh, yeah, it's <laughs> really In the spirit of harmony, uh, I'd like to ask Maester Berlaz to help Sir Setson staunch the bleeding. Sir Setson is already stealing a lot of the Maester's stuff and just trying to patch <laughs> himself up. That's fine. That's yeah. um, You are bleeding out. Yeah. So that's, hey, you know. um, Make a roll for Maester Setson. You want to roll yeah. under your number? You can roll. Um, I offer you, you can bread. roll three. It's quite absorbent. Sure. Do you mind putting it in my mouth? What? Success. One. Yeah. Success with consequence. Um, so the maester manages uh, to cure you, but in doing so, he gets your blood all over him, and it starts to cause some kind of weird infection, and he starts, like, sneezing and not feeling good. <gasps> He's oh, a wear-maester! Wait, wait, oh. Oh. Yes. We're muffins oh, no, for the rest of the time. And, yes, and he's like... Oh, I think I'm going to go lay down. Uh, he, I, well, no, maybe he's now played by like Waldorf and Statler. It's like, oh, I'm going to go lay down now. <laughs> uh, you, you know what the best part of this game is? The ending. <laughs> uh, no, Maester, I knew you'd die for a round. I knew your blood would be poisoned to my my type. You're too hot-blooded, but it's worth it. Uh, Sir Sensen, I hope you remember this. I can this. melt your fragile heart. Oh, no, I would definitely die if you did that. I continue uh, to ship. Yep. <laughs> um, onwards. Let's burn these ships. Okay. <laughs> so, ships approaching, uh, yeah. led by Skippy Greyjoy, and uh, the troops approaching from the west, from Westeros. Yes. Um, yeah. And uh, let's say... Uh, while you have been having this conversation, your troops have been getting into place, you know, yes. lining the walls and manning the towers and so on. I would like so to forth. ask your assistance for something. Or would you? We, we walk up together. No. Are you the first? You first. No, I, 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 would, I would speak uh, to my to my lady here. So please, oh, all right. I'll I'll I'm willing to hear mm. your request. Wait, right. how do you undead things? Ah, you kill them and then you ice them. Until they ice them back to life. You have to ice them so, so cold. I shouldn't be giving away our secrets. No, that's all right. I was wondering. I, I've been tinkering with a refrigerator system. Would you be able to... Well, my bread isn't exactly alive, but could you unbake them? Unbake your bread by... Freezing it. Freezing it. Yes. Oh no! What's, crazy. What's in That's your so bread? Unbake <laughs> my heart. It might add. We have lots Sweet of bread for eating, God. and then they might be able to add aid its forces. I would have to sanctify said bread with by bestowing the Lord of Freezes. Um, Freeze the bread, and then yeah, you can fight for the, us. The body of the Lord of Freeze inside of the bread, but then. Then it's safe. With the okay. Okay. Of the Muppet, Muppet rules. Yeah. Inanimate yeah. objects, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. All up for grabs. And I was just wondering what's in the bread. The oh, mountain. yeah, I gotta know it. I'm a bread. 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 bread is bread. The mountain, who is now played by Snookums, uh, looks into the bread and is like, whoa. Oh. Oh. Mm. It has a face now, and it's singing. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> Uh, Wheatney is howling along with <laughs> Freeze the duck. Well, I guess they're alive now. Thank you. <laughs> you have successfully frozen my bread. Uh, it is unbaked bread now. I just, I just touch it and, and call upon the power of the Lord of Freeze. Great. I'm creating an army of bread things. Make a... Oh, this was all set up for unbread. I, I, yeah. I finally got the bread. I love it. I love it. I love it. Bread. I love it. 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 Last time I rolled, we was trying to go over. Oh, yes. Now the bread, suddenly the power oh, of the Lord of Freeze oh, just, just wow. takes the bread and it just oh, spreads God. through the castle, engulfing all the bread. Yes, now, except the, for a handful that I want to eat. And, and, and something happens, the bread starts to like pull apart into like almost people-like shapes mm -hmm. and, and, and gain form. Oh, oh, like a rat people. king. <laughs> yeah. I help by slicing the loaves. And and, and it grows into a, a full army of the unbred. Yes! Um, yes! 
I never knew I wanted so much power. Big faster bakers. So you've got an army of the unbred. Yes. Yes. Um, yes. And uh, okay. So yeah. How um, many? How many? Um, <laughs> Should I roll? Yeah. Ah, roll yeah. a d6. Uh, you get a hundred times whatever it is. Two hundred. Two hundred. Which is a good amount. Unbred That's not bad. Right. Not bad. And yeah. then there's that freak value with it. You know, like the shock value. Yes. Yeah. They <laughs> also mean, smell yeah. great. You know, oh, like Ed. Oh, they yeah. are amazing. Because like they come up with sores and. Multi brain. Like, yeah. Not typical for um, bitter fruit. Of the bread. Very yes. healthy. Mm. Uh, and you hear the bells inside. start to ring, <gasps> kind of furiously. You can hear people shouting outside. Um, and they they can see you know troops are getting closer. There's um, uh, one other preparation I would like to make alongside uh, my lady, if you would be so kind as to lend your wild fire to the horse. Are you speaking to moi? <laughs> lady Potsy has a lot of hair and a, a boa now and is wearing a slinky dress. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Most assuredly, Muppets. Muppets. <laughs> Miss Van Damme. <Damas. laughs> yeah. Most assuredly. That wildfire is simply so hot. Well, of course you want something from me. That's all that you ever want, Rodrigo. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Then, what, my lady, could I give you? Well, Rodrigo, maybe if you would tell the truth and tell me about your feelings. For moi! <laughs> My lady, so forward. <laughs> I have thought for all these decades that you have despised me. I do. I despise everything about you, especially when you lie. So tell the truth, Rodrigo. Unless it's better to lie. Oh, oh then lie. I will show you exactly where my wildfire is. Oh, oh man. Oh, oh, oh. Should we? We are now all of a sudden. We are now in theater scenes. <laughs> You're on the stage. Yeah. <laughs> Very and if not, the bread people <laughs> are filling the auditorium, <laughs> and they're sobbing. <laughs> Soggy bread is never good. Oh, oh. Unless it is. Unless it's love. Unless oh. it's like these never grow stale. Mm -hmm. Never. Yep, uh, we're gonna <laughs> see the field outside the castle of fire out there. <laughs> yeah. When um, the host is there, we're gonna blow them all up. It's gonna be yeah. great. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and and, and uh, the Count von Count comes down and sort of uh, dressed in his uh, arm, uh, you know, soldier arm. He's like, I count one, two, three <laughs> yeah. thousand troops closing from the west. We ah, have ah, six, ah! seven, eight hours uh, until uh, they arrive. Um, and, and, and then he, he, he runs off. Um, and so you got you got a few hours or so uh, until those troops close in. A anything else you want to do? Preparation? Things you want to do in the castle? Ooh, um, I uh, two more members of um, House Van Damas uh, come in. Uh, it is um, Pogbert, also known as the Good Boy. Pogbert, the Good Boy. And Yay. Harry Potter, the Sweet Kitty. Aww. Aww. And they're builders. <laughs> Oh, uh, excellent! Yes. Exactly who we need right now. Yeah. Uh, the they, walls. They, they would like to reinforce the walls. What would have been Lord Pocket's job before uh, they followed Lady Potty's direction? Make an ice roll. You want to roll under your number. You can roll... What does your house do? Noble diplomacy. You can roll two. Okay. Oh! Uh, two successes! Yay! Uh, one's my number. Oh, no, no, I'm number three. Two successes. Two and successes. Two and a one. Yeah. Um, I should have put two. No, you're they fine. they fine. take no. a contingent of bread men and go uh, and start, you know, reinforcing the walls, looking for structural defects, and right. they, they do, they're doing a pretty good job. They're working pretty fast. They're getting stuff done. Um, the Noble House I, improves the defense. The Noble Defenders. The Noble Defenders. Oh no! Oh, Sam, look it's at that right throw. there. Um, and yeah, I'd like to send my guys to start heading towards their ships. If there's, if they're coming from a certain direction, which you found out which way they're coming from, I'd the like west. To, the west, right? The west. The west. Uh, the, well, 
the say east. the east, because yeah, the, the, the east. soldiers on foot are coming from the west. So let's say the harbor's to the east, since oh. we're just making up this. Excellent. Great. No, go. it's okay. factual. It's canon. Yes. Yeah, it's canon. <laughs> I'd like to send my men towards the east. Left or okay. is in the books. It's in the back somewhere. So, um, uh, to the east. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, 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 and you're just sending them to the shore? Or? No, I'm sending, I want to, I want to send them start, I'm, I'm guessing the ships are kind of like far off, so I'd like to have them start that journey. Uh, too, so they can go set those ships how on fire. How far were they parked? Yeah, how far? <laughs> yeah, how far were they parked? I mean, if if it sounds like they were parked pretty far, but it's gonna take them like half a day to like get well, here. Well, remember, like uh, <laughs> King's Landing, like there's really difficult territory to get through if you don't know the channels. Like oh, sometimes yeah. you need to park outside the right. bay, and sometimes it takes you, especially like, if it's like castle defenses. They would just like psh, yeah. pot shots, so they do park and then they go overland. Actually, and then also yeah. sometimes it takes you like you know an entire season to get halfway across the land, and sometimes you do it in like two episodes. And yeah, <laughs> they so all had blind between castles. jump cuts <laughs> or between jump cuts. Here we go. Or you, so, do, uh, you do Water <laughs> Bay that they're outside yeah. of that they're coming in. Yeah. Now I remember before you had alluded yeah. to some sort of two pronged plan here. Are you doing that? Yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah. out of out of our troops, we were only able to bring a tenth to this convening, right? All right, yeah. so I have 500 troops. I would like to send... I have 500 as well. I'm going to send just 100 of them, uh, and I'm going to send many of my priests who have the power to um, freeze freeze water. All right. Um, if the Lord of Freeze blesses them to do so, they uh, just call upon him. I want my, my Muppet men to uh, basically give piggyback rides to her... Uh, to her Ooh. Muppet men, um, and basically protect them because, like, without those priests, like, we're not setting any of that water, getting any of that water frozen, and my guys are brawlers, so mm-hmm. here we go. Um, so I'll send, if you're sending 100, I'm gonna send 150, uh, so that we at least have some sort of, like, escort system, um, and then the rest will be used for piggybacks. Wait. People kept to the agreement about how many troops you bring. People did that. How many did you bring? I brought 600. How many did Of you course. Bring? Same. Are I'm you, bad at counting. I just said, let's go, like? and whoever wanted to join came along. <laughs> <laughs> I have yeah. exact numbers. Perfectly executed. Your Perfect Muppet executed. men head out. They are, you know, kind of like Rover-type Maybe. monsters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they yeah. piggybacks. Yeah. Taking the priests. Piggybacking the priests. Yeah. Um... Roll, um, it's like physical action. Let's call it, roll, roll like a fire roll. You want to roll over your number, you can roll two. Yay. <coughs> Consider. Two successes, Cheating. one ask the raven. Oh, wow. Mm. Um, so, yeah, uh, two successes, your your monsters and the priests head out, and uh, they, 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 they are going to make it to the shore, you know, to the to the water in time. Cool. Um, and uh, while that is going on, um, who, who's in charge right now? Um, I think Sir Sesson is still in still, charge. Still, he's in one arm, but you know what? Tis the flesh wound, so he's still going. Just, just had his arm cut off moments yeah. ago. Right back on the job. Oh, that Maggie. is what you call yeah. professionalism. Let's do it. <laughs> Professional something. something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, Sir Sesson, uh, voice pops into your head. Uh, you are on with the Three Eyed Raven. Do you have any questions? Uh, yes. Uh, what is the method for my men to get onto those ships undetected? Undetected. Oh no, Papi! Don't bring Harold because he makes lots of noises. He's a good boy. He's a good boy, but he would give away our defenses immediately. Now, do you know how uh, distracting it is to have an adorable little puppy making cute puppy noises under the table cute. when you're trying to do stuff? It's it is distracting. Um, it's cute chaos. Uh, the best way to get on undetected yeah. um, would probably be so. to have like the ice priests like freeze selective parts of the water so you can sort of like skate mm. out there very like quietly, you know. It's a good tactical move, Three Eyed Raven. Wow. Well, I do know all. Three Eyed Raven out. <laughs> um, Wonderful. Um, yeah, I would like to follow that when my guys get there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you're on the march. Um, 
What are you doing? Oh, I think oh, my yeah. men are on the march. I'm staying back. Yeah, you're staying back, yeah, right? Yes. Your, your, your soldiers Correct. are on the march. Yeah, we're all staying in this nice, yes. safe stone yes. room. The <laughs> leaders oh, stay oh, back unless you say otherwise. I would like to send 150 of my ice soldiers into, I assume, in the large expanse of, of land in between us and the approaching army on foot. There's a lake somewhere, some body of water, that they would need to probably split to get around. Are you doing the probable battle of bastards from the books? Go on. (laughs) Uh, There are speculations about how an upcoming battle uh, that was represented in the show is going to go down in the books that involves a a frozen lake and uh, melting and freezing points and a known commander whose tactical brilliance has been established uh, by tell, but we anticipate yet by show that they should be there, and then it should do a melty, and then they go ah. <laughs> I was gonna I'm do a. Uh, they hide under the water. They freeze the top layer of water above them, and then burst out of it. Uh, just oh. like the just had it, birthday cake, just like a <laughs> birthday party. <laughs> Love it. Surprise. Love it. Well, In honor of Monticelli's birthday. Yeah. The, ge- <laughs> the geography of Westeros does have, you know, lots of lakes and bodies of water, and it's a let's say, um, yeah, between Lefteros and Westeros, there is, uh, we'll call it um, Lake um, Rowan, and Rowan. yeah, because people don't like rowing across the lake. Mm-hmm. So, um, no. Too soon? Okay. All right, Gordon um, Okay. <laughs> and we're moving on. Lake Rowan. Um, yep. House Van Damas sends a hundred of our assassins to hide along the, the banks of the river. So if uh, any that <coughs> try to, that don't cross the river, then... <laughs> Most of them will assist in that endeavor with any Okay, first, let's make a roll to see how your guys, uh, your soldiers do. Um, you can roll, you're freezing a lake and hiding. This is really your kind of combat. You can roll three. You want to roll under your number because you're doing a no. tactical maneuver. Three successes and one Thread Raven call. Oh, wow. Three successes. Yeah. Um, oh, come on. So, yeah, you... Wait, hold on. Is it... Your number, a success? Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is called. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, three successes. Um, you absolutely, your, your soldiers make it to the lake, and they are in position to do the whole freeze thing, and that's going to go down exactly the way you said it was. Uh, and, um, and uh, okay, you got three, so like a bonus effect. While your soldiers are headed out there, um, while, while you're sort of, you know, seeing them off, the ground rumbles again. There's another kind of earthquake. And um, you, from, from the position that you happen to be standing in when you are seeing your your uh, your soldiers off, you get the feeling that, you know, this earthquake is not quite natural. You, you sort of feel like there might actually be something under the ground beneath you, but it, it stops real fast. And you go back. Okay. Now, yes. make a help roll yes. to help them hide. You can roll three. Mm-hmm. You want to roll under your number. Uh, what? Um, I would like to uh, roll. Oh, no, no, no. It's an assist, and I got a. Mm-hmm. You got one? I, I did succeed. Uh, mm-hmm. So, uh, our. Uh, you us. can roll three with the assist. Um, you want to roll. Uh, what are you doing now? You're hiding, right? I've sent a hundred of my troops to uh, the lakeshore. My uh, right, and then they're gonna hide. So that most can... fiery tempered assassins to slit the throats of anything that um, goes past them and doesn't take the lake. It's very wild and passionate. Okay, <laughs> why it's wild and passionate? Hmm. It's so not. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, this, this, this it's why nice so sneaky not. assassination the is in The attack fact. itself might be wild passionate, but for yeah. now it's nice. Then you want to roll under your number, you can roll three. Uh, oh! Three successes? There we and go. And one's my number. Okay. Yeah! Oh, and you would also have a, a raven. Okay, uh, uh, a, a three-odd raven thing. So, okay. Mm. So, yeah, that that's going to work great. And oh, wow. um, I, I will say, uh, while your troops are headed out, um, they spot the entrance to a cave that seems to be hidden amongst the rocks at the base of Lefteros Landing, uh, the, the fortress. Mm. Um, but 
that's it. They just you, you just get the report back that there's you know there seems to be some sort of cave or catacomb or something down there. Um, and and while that's happening, uh, into your ear, uh, into your head, this voice pops in. Uh, Hello, you're on with the Three-Eyed Raven. Do you have any questions? Mm. Three-Eyed Raven knows all. Yes. And loves to squeal. It is my dream to convert Sir Joffrey, uh, uh, Prince Joffrey, to the Lord of Frieza's ways, and I would like to know from which direction is Joffrey specifically approaching, if at all? Uh, Joffrey himself is not coming. He's a little cowardly what to about be little finger? leading his troops into battle. Little Wait, finger. <laughs> little finger. Yeah, I'm not supposed to give you a second question, but I will. What anyway. about little finger? Ah. Yeah. <laughs> doing it. Okay. Uh, little finger um, is uh, headed back to Westeros. He's trying to get out of Westeros before the battle starts. He is somewhere in the vicinity of Lake Sneaky. Rowan. Mm. Sneaky, sneaky. Mm. We don't I would like to send them. my best assassin, uh, Lord Waterkeep. <laughs> Lord Waterkeep, yes. Um, to, for Litterfinger? Uh, he's going, uh, yeah, he's going, riding alongside the 150 going to Lake Rowan, but he's going to split off and look for Litterfinger. I'm just going to the Masked Lord of Waterkeep. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Make an ice roll, you want to roll under your number, you can roll three, because you're sending an assassin, and... What's a plan? Makes sense. Liar's got to die. One success. Mm. Consequence. Um, yeah, success with consequence. Yeah. So, um, Lord, I'm sorry, what was his name? Master Lord of Waterkeep. Ah, uh, yes. Lord Waterkeep does find Littlefinger, uh, but is quickly killed by his personal guards. <laughs> Whoa! Another assassin. Yay! Oh, 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 thank you so much. Thing. Thank you. What? What is? What does that mean? Patreon. Patreon. <gasps> Patreon. That's oh. great. Uh, awesome. Did Lord Waterkeep uh, cut off Littlefinger's little finger before he died? Did you want him to? It's always been a dream. Roll. <laughs> roll. Um. We'll call it a fire a roll. What kind you want to roll over finger? your number. Oh, uh, little finger is um, oh, guy he's... smiley. Oh yeah, that's real. Um, uh, make fire roll. You want to roll over your number because it's like combat, so you, you can roll uh, two since he's not doing great with his guards. No, no little fingers. For Unfortunately, him. not. And and as Lord Waterkeep dies, continuity. As Lord Waterkeep dies, little finger goes. <laughs> Ooh. Still got it. <laughs> um, Does you'll get yours. Everyone seem very busy at the moment. That's what Lord Stetson wants. Y Sir Stetson wants to know. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's a lot going on. Uh, if I wanted to sneak away further into the fort and possibly look around, do it, buddy. Um, could I do that? Do it. I'm yeah, you can, you can give just a shot. See yeah, there's I mean, any, like, you, got, you got a whole house. Dragon yeah. skulls in the basement. Yeah, dragon skulls in the basement. Yeah. Any, any, anything that might. Help us. Like you're on Greyjoy's who are coming up through the catacombs on the yeah, base of the whatever. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I want to do a better, uh, <laughs> make, better look. Make but also, an, you know, <coughs> make an ice roll. Uh, okay, we'll do, we'll do a couple here. Yeah. First, make an ice roll to see how sneaky you are. Okay. We, uh, Why were there any soldiers I need to down go there? find more bandages. I don't have a lot. You can roll Except three. Can you want to roll under your number? <laughs> yeah. Uh, your number is this is a two. two. Um, I got one success. Okay, um, you, 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 you do sort of manage to sneak away, uh, you know, with your I need to go find more bandages thing. But, like, Maybe. everyone left in the room kind of looks at each other and like, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're doing like this. Yeah, they think. While you're like, <laughs> I, I, I think I think Sir Stetson is more like a cookie monster. Mm. So it's definitely like a... Oh, oh yeah, you big you disaster yeah. queer energy. Yeah, there you Dang. go. Dang. Every time someone glances in your direction, you just freeze and then. <laughs> so yeah, you get away, but all of you are kind of wise to the fact that yeah. she's sneaking off somewhere. Yeah, or he's she's extremely she's just like yeah. very stealthy. Yes, I would like to write a couple of letters. What? <laughs> uh, that is what I'm doing. Letters to who? Well, Whit oh, yeah. Whitney, Whitney seems to be um, uh, quite anxious, mm. so I, I would like to write to her brothers and sisters um, for aid. Mm. Aww. 
Okay, um, let's call that a fire roll, because, you know, it's like diplomacy. You want to yes. roll over your number. You can roll, uh... Hi, beacons of Gondog. What do you do? You're a uh-huh. beacon. Beacons of Gondog. That's no. gone. Oh, damn it, Gina. <laughs> 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 Reset bars. That's good. Uh, <laughs> we know why. Okay, can I figure that out? <laughs> um, this was exactly what it was. Maybe it's not quite the moment. Yeah, it was. Thank you for calling it out. Yeah, first of all, try that again. <laughs> How many would you like me to roll to write a letter? Oh, to write a letter? Uh, you can roll. Messenger Papa Nick or will deliver them for me. Yes! Ooh. Ooh. You can roll two. You want to roll over your number? Over my number? Yeah, it's like uh, yeah, it's like diplomacy. Is, uh, diplomacy. Oh, this is a wild action. Diplomacy. Diplomacy. There's so many things have just become lit with inside of me, and then I'm feeling quite sentimental. Do you require help? No, no. To write a letter? No. I'm okay with this. I've written a lot of recipes. I have very good handwriting. I I I, I don't want a consequence. So mm-hmm. I, I have one success. That is it, may I please. It is for wheat meat. It's for puppies. Yes, yeah. it's for puppies. We can take another. Yeah. I mean, take puppies. another. Right. Unlimited reroll for puppies. <laughs> for we, puppies. we are simple creatures. There success. it is. A puppy roll. Success. Right. Two yeah. successes. A roll over. Roll. Mr. Pumpernickel, I need you to very desperately, as quick as you can, deliver this to Ryan, Brennan, and Hala E. Please. I'm so proud. Amazing. Mm-hmm. And, and, the, and these letters are asking for help. That wheat me means more direwolves. More direwolves. And I write the woos, the sad woos. From me to oh, Whitney comes over and puts a paw in like ink Tap and ink pad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like doing that. Aww. And then puts a stamp on the letters. So, yeah, that. Uh, You'll know that tap show. That's a success? Oh, yes. <laughs> Come in, I'm just writing a letter. Has the battle begun? Uh, is there, is there, I, 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 I couldn't. I couldn't Are you the youth again? I, 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 I'm certainly Lord Rodrigo. Oh, here. I thought you were the youth. Come in. Mm-hmm. This, is, this is quite, quite lovely. It is, the battle is, uh, is an upcoming. Yes. Oh, yes, I was just writing to some loved ones. There is one p- p- particular point of interest. Uh, Which point? I did not, uh, yeah, yeah, point. No. The point. Let's get to the point. <laughs> yes, 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 most, most assuredly. Uh, before yet we are all erased in some sort of hideous circumstance of battle, I, I felt the need uh, to to confess. Uh, there was uh, someone who meant a great deal to me who, who t- told me always to tell the truth. Oh. Unless lying is better than lie, but I don't think lying that is better familiar. in this circumstance. And anyway, uh, hello. <gasps> what? And I deface. Oh. And it is you. Oh. I like both of your faces. Look, I mean, the truth is, we replaced the Monticelli's like decades ago. Really? Nobody knows. That's exciting. How did you? Well, well, you know, I hold up a face. Oh, oh. mostly that right. way. It's a warrior of books. But, but the thing is, these are really itchy and i got to wear them all the time. No, of course. Here, I have a water basin. Please. <laughs> and and anyway, I, I just, I didn't know what was going to happen and I wanted someone to know. Oh, I'm quite pleased I've seen both of your faces. Itchy. Itchy probably thing. Itchy. Yeah. Would you like to stay? I won't tell anyone. So what's everyone else doing? <laughs> <laughs> Can I please roll to see if Frida the chrome thumb saw any of this? We roll around in the dough. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that would be an ice roll. You want to roll <laughs> under no, your number? You can totally roll. Totally murdered. <laughs> you can roll. What? What kind of? Uh, Prita's Prita's like the. She's my cousin, cousin of Lady Potty. What? What? And, um, what got you running? Oh, Harold's back. What got you running? Uh, and uh, she's she's like a Dorn Dorn esque assassin. Uh, she oh, trained in Dorn. Dorn. Can roll three. Uh, yeah. Ice. You want to roll under your number? Okay. Your number is three. Yeah. This sounds great. Uh, oh, I got two successes. One is my number. Okay. So yeah. See the face pull. See see whatever you want. Go okay. for it. Do it. Okay. I support you. You saw the whole Burn thing. Burn me to the ground. It's all good. Wow. <laughs> you saw the whole thing, and while you were watching, uh, a voice popped into your head and uh, said, uh, um, this is the Three-Eyed Raven. Uh, you were on the Three-Eyed Raven. Um, Three-Eyed Raven here. Okay, so this is Prita's question then. Uh, and uh, he goes, the Raven. Yes, this is the Raven. Mm. <sighs> do, 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 it's, do, it's difficult. He's just watching Teddy oh. in the background. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Raven. Yes. Is there How, <laughs> what is the best way to bring down the Castle Van Leaf? Like, crash it? Yes. Blast it with fire. Wow. Wow, yeah, that's, that's how you do it. <laughs> Tradition, traditionally speaking. Mm -hmm. Just no, that's made of Raven ice. out so, and moving you, far you know, away from the scene. Plan. Not my girl. <laughs> if things go to crap, we're going to need a big weapon, and that's a weapon in the sky. You. Snooping. We're snooping around. What did you roll for your snooping roll? I oh my god, I can't. Yeah, I don't, did I even roll for snooping? Sokovia. Right. Roll. I, 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 exactly. I rolled for stealth. I didn't roll for the actual oh, snooping. Oh, okay. Make, roll three, you want to roll under your number. I mean, yeah. She'll be ticked that her castle's gone, but uh, if it saves us. Two successes, one my number. Two successes, one my number. <laughs> um, okay. So, yeah, you start looking around and, and you find your way um, into. Uh, into the basement of the castle, mm -hmm. and then from there, thank you so much, sure. Um, and then from there, you find your way into these uh, catacombs that are even beneath that. And the catacombs are dark and all torch lit, and uh, you walk through them for a while. Um, and then, uh, you know, and, and painted along the walls, there are, you know, old cavemen pictures of the first men mm -hmm. and the white walkers mm -hmm. and the first puppers <laughs> and all sorts of. <laughs> I'm fine. Culture. Yeah, if only, if only Mr. Cookie Monster cared about culture. But yes, that's mm -hmm. all of them. Just walk on the floor. Yep. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh. Um, <laughs> And uh, eventually, <laughs> <Not> um, <cookie. laughs> you you come to the end, and and like suddenly the catacombs, you know, they stop being you know cobblestones and, and carved oh. out cave, and, and they become sort of like a, a more like actual cave cave. It looks like you know oh. it's connected to a cave, um, and the cave goes very sharply downwards. Mm. Am I am I on with three eyed raven? I got one success. Yes, while you're looking down the incline, uh, the Three-Eyed Raven pops in your head. Three-Eyed Raven here, do you have any questions? Yes, I do. What's down there? Uh, <laughs> down there be dragons. Down yeah. there be dragons! Three-Eyed um, Raven out. Uh, I want to... Um, I mean, I'm reckless, man. Okay, I, wa I want to try and create a small avalanche to create, like, a... To, to create... Basically, a disturbance at the bottom of this of this chasm, so that whatever is down there comes up. What? Yeah, oh I'm God. reckless. Okay, oh. let's call that. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of like a plan. I'll make friends with them. It'll be fine. <laughs> we'll, call that, we'll call that an ice roll. You can okay. roll two. I think, I think. Creating an avalanche is an ice roll. Well, you're, you're trying Avalanche, what is it made of, buddy? <laughs> I mean, if you were just creating an avalanche, it'd be a fire roll, but you're trying to do it to do a very specific effect, okay, right? You're okay, carrying out fair. a strategy. <laughs> So it's I like mean, you're fair. you're rolling more to see if your strategy works okay. rather than if you know like fair, you, you fair, can fair, definitely fair. create an avalanche. But okay, okay. Um, so you want to roll under your number? <laughs> yeah. You can roll two. Okay. Ah, uh, do I really want these dragons? Yeah, I'll I'll try one. <laughs> Who has ever <laughs> asked that question? <laughs> of course oh, you I want really dragons. Really oh, really oh, really dragons. dragons. Oh, you only want one? They yeah, only one. one, only one. Um, but one success, and it's my number. Good. Okay, so. 
Yeah, like you create, yeah, you, you you start like jabbing at the rocks like at the end of the cave and like, you know, you just hear a bunch of them go rolling down. And yeah. It's just like sort of silence. And then like this jet of sh flame shoots up and like yeah. knocks you back, like, ah. and, like burning half of like your oh. face off. Three-Eyed Raven? And and while you're lying on the ground screaming about how your face is burning off, the Three-Eyed Raven pops it's in It's my you. fur, my Muppet fur. Yes, your Muppet fur is on fire. <laughs> Um, ah, rah, rah, rah. Uh, and and then yeah, the three-eyed raven pops into your. You turn uh, into Beaker and just. Ah! <laughs> yeah, ah, I guess I should be doing the three-eyed raven as a Muppet now. Okay, uh, hi ho there. This is the three-eyed raven um, with another Muppet news flash. I um, love this. Um, how do you make friends with dragons, three-eyed raven? Oh, sir. How do you make friends with dragons? Uh, you need a magic spell. You should ask Quentin. Ugh. Is that all you have for me? There's a scroll <laughs> somewhere in the castle. Yay! Thank you! Two answers for the price of one! <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> yeah, I broke it out. Yay! Um, and, um, and it's gone. Great, 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 great. Time to find a scroll. So... Yep. You are lying mm -hmm. in wait, or your forces are lying in wait uh, by Lake Rowan, waiting mm -hmm. for Joffrey's troops to come. They are. Uh, um, mine are on the outskirts of the lake. And things seem quiet, and you can hear the sound of the approaching soldiers as they're getting closer. Mm -hmm. But they seem to be moving much, much faster than you expected. Um, and, 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 and as you, as your soldiers start to look around and, and, and take note, um, they actually seem to be, like, running, almost fleeing from something. You see Joffrey's troops are coming at you, but they don't seem to be in attack formation. They seem to be running for their goddamn lives. No! Oh. And, oh, what's a twist? Uh, now, we can't really see because they're underneath the frozen lake. Uh, Mine see, definitely. Yeah, your, yours can see that. Yeah. Um, all of yours are underneath the lake? Well, they got a couple scouts okay. up a tree. So we will credit it. you with this information also. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, and uh, as you keep watching, the, the soldiers start running and you hear all kinds of screaming. And uh, from beyond in the distance, you see it looks like a second army. It's But, but this army, very slow moving, uh, very pale. Um, hmm. you, you have heard legends of White Walkers. You've never seen one, um, but Glenn somehow scum. they seem to be coming up behind Joffrey's army. They give the undead a bad thing. And has no name. Are we fighting? Well, the, the, time to fight? the army, Joffrey's army is running towards you. They, you know, they are not being very careful about where they're going, but they are headed right towards the lake and just running, screaming for their lives. This makes my soldiers hot-headed because they have a, a fiery distaste for the undead that don't, don't speak, don't like, can't communicate. Who's into with, fire now? It's just so frustrating. You make people think everybody that's died and come back to life is just out to kill and never negotiate, never think anything. Well, I guess they think it through, but sure. Uh, by the way, some red shirt uh, gives one to the players. Ah, thank, yeah. you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Red shirt. So yeah, Get they are closing in on you. What is the move here? We're waiting, lying in wait until they're right, just as either standing on the lake or as close as they can be to it, about to pass it. So Joffrey troops. Wait. Huh? Or Joffrey's troops or the walkers? Yeah. Who, who are you? A notion. That's okay. If uh, I'm, I'm, I'm the scared. walkers would would not, uh, from from my master's understanding, die if they were submerged. But uh, Jeffrey, Joffrey's host would, and thereby would not join those little fuckos. Uh, with with that in mind, if, if you would destroy those troops. We could light those bitches up with a wildfire if they enter mm. that part of the field that we have seeded with such a substance and make them go. Is it a boom? Definitely waiting for Joffrey's forces. Mm. Uh, okay. There we go. Yes. My, um, my forces <laughs> that are along the sides of the lake, led by Pele, the goldenrod lady. She good at, at soccer. Or, uh, <laughs> no. Pele and the Oh, well, I guess her name should be Pale, <laughs> but that's too close to party. No, let's go with Pale. Pale. Yeah. Okay. Uh, poison arrows into Joffrey's forces. 
Okay, so you're just both full on attacking. Um, all right, so let's call this. Um, why don't you make a helping? Yeah, why don't you make a help okay, roll and then she'll make the attack roll. Um, you can roll three. You want to roll over your number. Your number is three. Bring white walker. Wow. Okay. Uh, so let's do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Not even the cursed right. dice. Gonna, We're fighting Joffrey's troops. Two. Just like mm, well, it's because all this time I've been doing ice got. rolls, so take then the dice with got your best shot. Okay, that's better. Two successes. There it right. is. Yeah. Yay. You can roll four. All right. Ooh, yes. it's, a, it's a fire roll. You want to roll over your number. Uh, your number is five. This is for the attack itself. Even yeah. though it's against Joffrey's, which we planned. Yep. Okay. <laughs> the actual how the yeah. physical action comes sure. out. Sure. So you just need like one six. Let's burn one of those. Do it. Burn it for a fire roll. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you can only roll two. Yeah, that's how that works, yeah. But you can take as many rerolls as you want to, so. Speaking of. Yeah. One more. Two more? Yeah. One, more. one more. This one. Okay, uh, they fail. They fail miserably. <laughs> okay. No! You, oh, you, no! There's more! This plan of being hidden under the ice. They don't see when their enemy is approaching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're overwhelmed by the, the, the you quickness of the blows. Yeah, the, the attack goes off a little bit late, and uh, Joffrey's troops are, you know, it, it's weird. Like, your soldiers, like, are expecting them to stand and fight, but, like, instead they just, like, keep running past, no, and your wait. soldiers get, like, a little bit confused. Oh, no. Uh, mm -hmm. and, they, and, and they go by, and uh, now you are sort of, like, the, you know, both of your troops, like, Joffrey's troops are between you and the castle. The White Walkers are closing in from the other side. Um, so Pele's like, whoa, crap. That, that's not how that was supposed to go no. at all. Commander Spike Mount is leading um, the forces that are all soggy and feeling oh, no. very ashamed. Uh, House Van Damas will not like this. Mm -hmm. This was my first time leading uh, a force. Uh, I'm, I'm the cousin no one really talks about. That's got to be so disappointing. It is. I've led many great uh, attacks, but I, I was alive at that D point. Oh, <laughs> do things change when you die? You have performance I, uh, anxiety? It, it's more of just, uh, you know, you got to warm up. The, the lip, it's, uh, <laughs> uh, when I, I, don't, I don't have the same speed I used to. Oh, um, yeah, I, I understand. Mm. Yeah, well, not really, but I'm yeah, trying sure. to... Anyway, what do you want to do about this hole? Well, now we have White Walkers coming towards us, and right. we have Joffrey's forces behind us, so... Um, fight? Mm -hmm. Try it again? Mm -hmm. Well, the good thing is we can't be killed by them, but we can't really kill them either. Well, I'm I'm alive. Sure. So I can be killed. Have you ever thought about... The Lord of Freeze? <laughs> no, no. Let me tell you, okay. Now, if you want to have a castle in the sky, but it's, it's just, you have to make payments they over are, time. They are coming soul and at us. Oh! <laughs> and the, the White Walkers are... White Walker um, Muppets? Yeah, White Walker Muppets, I guess they're like... Um, Adorable. Yeah, I'm, try, I'm trying to think of a good Muppet to be the White Walkers. but uh, It's all of Gonzo's chickens. It's all of Gonzo's chickens. Chickens. Yes, and oh, Gonzo God. is, uh, you know, the Night, the Night King. Oh, my um, God. The Night The weird Night King. Oh, wow, um, I love Gonzo. The Night so Weirdo. Yeah. Uh, good, good. Um, He's already can I try riding a dragon? Well, <laughs> let's, well, while you're Yay. figuring out what to do, we'll, we'll slip, slip back to the castle. Yay. Um, and uh, let's see, seven forty two. Um, <laughs> and, Let the battle begin. Yes, uh, suddenly <laughs> you are. Oh no, your forces are at the unbred? water. Yeah, yeah. Right. Unbred forces are the, ready. The unbred forces are ready. Yeah, with mm -hmm. priests on their back. All right, job. Okay. Uh, no, that's just different. Same forces, different forces. Different just forces. All my, my forces. Forces. Yeah, different forces. Yeah. So the bread men are at the castle? And the Monetaries. And the Monetaries are at the castle. Yeah. Your army took the priests to the water. Yes. We well, we have 250 five, still at the castle. Yeah, yeah, 500 of House Van Damas yeah. at the castle. And, and um, our Pog, Pogbert and Harry Potter uh, have, have been reinforcing the, the walls. 
Okay. We got 350 MM at the castle still. Joffrey's <laughs> troops arrive at the castle and they are terrified and they want in. No. They are super motivated and just immediately start like shelling the walls with catapults no, and no. like, you know, you know, they drop the hot oil. Hot oil. Hot oil. Hot oil. Hot oil. Hot oil. No. Hot. The oil of nope. The oil of nope. <laughs> oh, um, no. Okay. Uh, it's, it's, um, and but then it, my buddy would love it looks to set like that oil on uh, the oil line. line. I mean, that's how it works. Yeah. 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 Boiling oil. Hot oil of nope. Okay. Roll. Don't live. Breadmen. Yes. Um, why don't you roll a general sort of like defense thing? That's what they look like. Oh my oh, god! Oh my god! There are the Disney balls on gift! <laughs> oh, that's Hear terrifying. Me. Let yeah, me put that's it adorable. That's really terrifying. <laughs> Will I be able to see it? No, it won't. Nah, I don't think it'll show up. We'll, we'll, we'll put it on Twitter. Don't we'll, we'll put it on Twitter. Focus uh, yeah. Gina will tweet that out. BFW oh, Scott, sorry. thank you. <laughs> um, okay. How many? Uh, roll. We are bakers. We have dealt with the oil before. And I buy that. You can roll yeah. three. You want to roll uh, over your number. Uh, your the number Monticelli's is assist. four. Monticelli's assist? Yes. Okay. You. Is this a How wild action assisting? or is this a tactical? This is. Uh, I mean, you're just dumping oil over a thing, right? So I feel like it's like a Mine, I believe it's typical this, action. The, the, the Monticelli's are assisting. How are you in, assisting? In uh, tactical, uh, tactical capacity. It says it, it is timing. I mean, I've been doing tactical. That's the sure. time where I've been. You can roll under your number. You want to roll. Uh, it's ice. You want to roll. You can, you can roll. Okay, I just have a four. It's not like. Roll two. Yeah. Right, one. One's all you need. That's so all I need for help. Okay, you can roll uh, three now. Four. Oh, four now. Yeah. They are well bred, Redmond. You said above my number? Uh huh. Two successes, one is my number. Okay, yeah, you're, the bread men just start dumping uh, the, the slime oil uh, over the side um, and just Joffrey's forces are trying to climb those ladders. They start like slipping down and it's just like burning and you know, there's all kinds of screaming and chaos going on. Uh, the bread men are like cheering. Um, and uh, while this is going on, uh, you, yeah, the, um, yeah, the hi, hi ho there, you're on with the three-eyed raven. Um, hi ho. Hi three-eyed raven, hi ho. Um, Do you have any questions? Yes, was Papa Nickel um, struck down on his way to deliver the messages or did he make it safe? Safely. Thank you. Roll, roll a d6. Oh no. If it's odd, he makes it. If it's even, he's dead. <gasps> oh my god! Raven. Yeah, Raven, why are you leaving this horrid news up to chance? Because I thought you knew all. God doesn't play dice with the universe! What but the three-eyed Raven does. What mm -hmm. did you say? What did you say? It's even. Even, he's fine. He's fine! Yeah. The messages got through. Three-eyed raven, oh, three-eyed raven out. Dire wolves on the way. Dire wolves on the way. Yeah. What? They're gonna be the Gandalf hounds. Oh, that's perfect. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Just, just on right. the hill. At the water's edge. Um, yes. You were going to try and like freeze the water. Yeah, and... freeze the water. So that would be your roll because you're the ones freezing. Yeah, the water. this is not a help roll. To... We'll call these two separate rolls. Right. So for mm -hmm. you, ice roll. You want to roll under your number. You can roll three because you're priests. You can, uh, in, the Lord of Ice. So mm -hmm. my Lord of Freeze. Excuse me. And this is a plan. This is under. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, three successes, baby. Ice, yeah. ice baby. I mean, <laughs> three successes. A bonus effect. It's uh. Yeah, you you create these like you know platforms that lead out there, but but you're you know you're doing so great that like the ice kind of like reaches up and like around the ships and just like kind of like oh, encircles yes. them, yes. like trapping the ships so that yes. like they can't move, they can't do anything. In fact, it's like it starts Perfect. like squeezing the ships that start like breaking up. You can it's just that awesome <laughs> wood noise. Yeah, yeah. wood, yeah. wood splintering. <laughs> yes. Um, so My guys you... would love to climb that, uh, uh, <laughs> climb that. That's the end of the <laughs> sentence. Um, no. Uh, we get onto the ships, burn the ships. Um, you've that's, got some of the wildfire. That's action. Yes. So. Yes. That's fire roll. Yeah, roll. Um, and we'd love to burn the ships while we're not on the ships. So if there's any way we can rig it so that, like, we, we set up, like, explosives everywhere and then, like, uh, arrow fire. You can give it a shot. Yeah. Um, <laughs> let's say I'd like to assist with that because um, mm -hmm. House of Andamas um, 
did fuses for the wildfire canisters. Ooh. So you could set it off whenever you wanted to. Nice. To like light it and run. Yeah. <laughs> yeah or I'm light it cool and toss it. All right. Yeah. Make a nice roll. You want to roll under your number? You can roll two. Okay. Yes. Light. You totally got help. Two successes. Yes. You can roll, call it an attack. Fire roll, you want to roll over your number, you can roll three with help. Well, four with help, I guess, because four you're, with help. you're crazy can boring. I roll people. Yes. Oh my god, that was a terrible roll. Can we can I re-roll one of those, please? Sure. Yeah, I'm still rolling. Okay, great. Um great. Three successes. Yes. 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 Yeah, it goes down exactly like that. You yeah. know, while the ships are trapped in ice, they just start getting, you know, like the, you, you you put the wildfire up and, and start shooting with like flaming arrows and like the ships just start exploding. And all and, the way yes. from the castle, it's snowing. <laughs> <laughs> ice explosions. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's exactly. There's water raining water from the wind. sky. You can hear Skippy Greyjoy like, like you know, this sucks, but I'm still less of a screw up than Theon. Yeah. Oh. Oh. So that's oh, more Barcelona so like Skippy Wheelie of Red. Um, <laughs> back at the castle. Yes. Yes. I have a theory. Cookies we, on these. But they're not as cute like anybody's ever seen. I am getting carried away. Uh, but the notion is, uh, we intended to light uh, the wildfire that was on the field right before the walls in order for things to go as a, as a, as a boom. In so doing, would not the heat created from that blast, which theoretically would incinerate uh, Joffrey's forces that are banging it throughout to come in, not themselves also raise the temperature of the ice on the lake, thereby the White Walkers fall into melee with the only troops adequately poised and in a position vis-a-vis -vis being, Already you know, not alive, them. who could reasonably defeat them without, you know, us dying and thereby adding to their numbers. I true. think it's a great idea. They're already under oh, the water. Luke has, thank you. Hey, thank oh. you. I would like to commence Operation Light of the Seven. <laughs> okay, um, that sounds... Oof. That's a big plan and a lot of action. Oh, you have to we use can fire an arrow and my troops will light the wildfire. They're by the lake already. Certainly, alongside uh, the Monicelli, as I said before. Oh. All right, first make an ice roll. You can roll three. You want to roll over your numbers to see if the tactical part works. Uh, practical, tactical brilliance. Yeah, you plan that thing to a T. Now make a fire roll to see how the action goes. You want to roll over your number. You can roll... Two. You're in the heat of battle. Ha. A lot going on. Heat of battle. Ah, and uh, two successes. Two successes. Oh, there yeah, it absolutely <laughs> goes down like that, and the and the ice starts to melt over you, and your soldiers sort of find themselves. Yeah. You won't listen to the Lord of Freeze, and they uh, just constrain them. They know how to get inside their heads. With, with their hands. I'm so glad that you're taking yeah, care literally. of this. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they rip their heads apart. Yeah. yeah. I was yeah. quite scared there for a while. There's fluff everywhere. <laughs> make, make a fire roll. Uh, you can hell? roll three <laughs> if you want to roll under your number. Okay. Over? Uh, oh, over your number. Thank you. Burn them all! Three rolls. Yeah, no. Yeah, definitely not. Nothing without a plan. <laughs> the the battle is pretty brutal. Your 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 soldiers are taking a lot of uh, punishment. Um, but, but they won't them. die. Yeah. Fortunately, they can just keep fighting forever, and we well, don't. You dismember them enough, hey, though. They're not coming Thank back. Okay, we lost a lot of time, so we're gonna, you know, yeah, skip yeah, a little. Yeah. Say, while you are down there in the catacombs, you find this ancient scroll, uh, and the ancient scroll, uh, had, long story short, um, <laughs> you know, it, it has this prophecy on it about uh, the um, five. Uh, this uh, is a lot. I'm beginning right now. Let's go. Yeah, yeah five lieges um, who uh, uh, um, are able to uh, read this scroll and and warg themselves into the dragons under the castle uh, and can. Save mm -hmm. the castle uh, simply uh, by uh, flying around and uh, you know doing dragon stuff. Whoa, um, dragon stuff. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna give you yeah, that. Yeah, give me. Because Let me warg into. They a, gave you that. Yeah, um, yeah. So yeah, you're gonna read that prophecy. Yeah. Uh, and with it, uh, some magic words on the bottom, and uh, each of your lords and ladies. <sighs> Uh, suddenly you, you, you sort of find your Can mind being pulled away. I yes. use 
the advantage I have from being the first person to read that to turn against some of my fellow uh, comrades here. Absolutely. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Drag yeah. fight. You... <laughs> are we all working into us? We're all working yes, into drag. Yes, are oh, all. No. It's all just Sky Falcors. Yeah. Sky Falcors. Yes. Oh my god, Muppet Dragons. Yeah, oh. Muppet Dragons. Yeah. So yeah, but yeah. you since you're the only one who knows what's going on yeah. when it happens, like you are much more I'm like in ready. command. Fast. Yeah. I'm ready. So what do you do? Um, I'm going for the castle. <gasps> no! <laughs> Wait, Grandma! With a puppet head, it's so upset. She, she's breathing ice fire, by the way, when she oh, catches no. up. Oh, you're an ice dragon. Cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. obviously. My okay. um, purple flame. And, and like, to be fair, <laughs> yeah. I'd like to try and like uh, aim it so that like at least it catches some of Joffrey's soldiers or whatever. But <laughs> I you know, know, you know, have wild fire for that. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Okay, you. Okay, you can attack the castle. Great. Let's say you can roll. I've never this been a dragon guns. before. Um, <laughs> no rerolls on interpersonal fighting. It's fire. You want to roll over <laughs> no your numbers? Yes. yes. You can roll <laughs> two. Two successes. You just start like pelting the castle yes. with fire, and immediately it's like it starts to like fall off its axis and sort of lose its, you know. I'd like to try and steer it towards Joffrey's soldiers, but also her castle is going down. BFW Scott, thank you again. Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> there were some clerics left behind and they're desperately trying to freeze each little fire as it comes out. <laughs> they feel the castle starting to Make a down. ice roll. You want to roll under your number. You can roll two. Two successes. Two successes. <gasps> um, but I'm going to make you re-roll it. Yeah. Oh. 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 Both two failures. <laughs> yeah, the, they just cannot put out those fires shrubs. fast enough, and uh, you know, yeah, the attitude yeah. of the, the the castle starts falling. Uh, it starts like 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 starting to fall down from the sky. Some of the troops on the ground are starting to look up and be like, "What in the heck?" Um, you hear a roar, right. and it sounds like "Be gay, do crime." Yeah. <laughs> All right, you want to try and push these towards Drawfish's shoulders? Push yeah. The castle? Yeah. Um, okay, that would be a fire roll. You can roll one. Okay. Um, you want to roll over your number. One success. Okay, dragon Valley. lady. <laughs> well, my number, so a success, but it's also oh. my number. Hey, thank you, Arnichi, for the Yay, bits. thank you. Um, I'm glad we got at least one. Okay, yeah. <laughs> um, success with consequence. Uh, you go smashing your dragon, like, into the castle to try and, like, you know, change its course. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it does kind of work and start pushing it towards, um, uh, uh, Joffrey's troops, but your dragon takes a lot of damage, um, <gasps> doing that. And one of its wings are hurt, and, you know, you sort of start, Aww. like, falling towards the ground as it's happening. Can I get my revenge? You damn sure. Wait, okay, and I'm inside so the keep. You, you go just first. attacked you go first. my castle. You <laughs> put that away. You <laughs> somehow. Oh, you're, right. Right. Yeah. No, you're, in a, you're in a dragon right. under you're the dragon. dragon. You're, in a dragon. you're in a dragon under the ground. Your mind's in a dragon. Yeah, but the meat body's oh, in that castle ground. now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. which yeah. is why Prina yeah. wants to make a move. Um, but yeah. I get my three eyed raven. Oh yeah, you got a question. Um, three. Uh, hi ho there. This is the three eyed raven. You're on with the three eyed raven. What's Lady Glacial's favorite flower? Lady Glacial's favorite flower. Ooh, can we do blue rose for Glacial's favorite flower? Blue rose. Blue rose. <laughs> you like blue roses? Love blue roses. There we go. Ouch. That's all. Um, <laughs> and it's tiny. Very tiny castle, animals. but here's a flower. You know it. <laughs> all right. What's your revenge? <clears throat> well, uh, oh, so I ward, so I'm not where I was in the castle, but. Uh, you're in the the dragon body, but it's protect. like yeah. you you can yeah. see up through Got the it. canyon into the sky, so yeah. you, you know which way you're going. Well, Queen Crema was like sitting with the lady uh, Mel Isandra, so um, they were having a moment and rudely <laughs> disturbed when pull, pulled into this ice dragon. So she bursts forth calmly and coolly and flies into the air, unsure of what's happening, sees the castle going down. And my Rose wing is hurt. Has always known that the defenses that she becomes ruthless when she sees damaged people who she doesn't think deserves it. It's something that's already been decided in advance. So <laughs> she breathes her ice fire from afar, ranged attack 
to try and destroy <gasps> the House Argyle. Make an ice roll. You want to roll under your number, you can roll three. Come at me, bro. Uh, three successes. Three successes. And one raven. Oh. Yeah. She um, comes at me, bro. Yeah. <laughs> she comes at you and just My hits you brow. with that, like, you know, ice fire thing paste. that the, the ice dragon shoot. Um, and just absolutely just, just wrecks your dragon. Ooh, and you know what? While I'm at it, let me just ice burn this whole keep in every castle because my castle was destroyed and I had planned all along that I will. No, it's a, it's a, then after the planned attack, I have a, just a vengeful burning of the city with my ice fire. Sure, you start <laughs> burning the city with your ice fire. Yeah. Sure. Um, um, yeah. Because uh, they reveal themselves to be not the house that they were, like House mm-hmm. Monticelli, that they're actually the house of uh, black and white. Yeah? Yeah. Um, Prita has watched that both of them have just kind of like, that they, they haven't, they're not like there anymore, that they're, Meat bodies are just kind of there, and Prita, the the Chrome Thumb, Aria style attacks, uh, who was Rodrigo because it turns out that they weren't and they lied, and you do not lie to the House of Andamas. Okay, that's a fire roll. You want to roll over your number? You can roll three. And like we're I both bored. So, like, we're just, like, kind of sleepy there, and you know Wheatney is right there. Yeah. Like, like yes. curled up at our feet. Yeah. This is very Game Game of Thrones. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> nah. We put uh, what, did, what, did I have to, what did I have to roll? Uh, fire over your number. Fire over my number, then I have uh, two successes. So, uh, the Ward uh, Rodrigue... Rodrogon uh-huh. <laughs> rises, uh, flapping into the sky. Um, Lady Potty's next to you uh, in her silver with purple eyes dragon, very happy to be near you. She doesn't oh, know what happened. And yeah. soars up, circles, and at that point when Rodrigo gets stabbed... That which was working and that which animated the body no longer exists. Oh no! Into the water near the castle. Pained cry from the dragons! (laughs) May I uh, call upon my favor from the house in black and white? Oh yeah. Icerion uses the dragony power to send a telepathic message to all of the soldiers within sight from his vantage point high above where the castle used to lay and sends him a message. March north, you wish to follow the Lord of Free. And uh, tries to mind control every soldier in the field. They can do just that. in the field? Uh, yeah, just in the field. My dragon whispers in your dragon's ear. <laughs> do you mind? <gasps> mm. I would, I'm, I'm not ready to let go. But I only have one favor. That's, okay. This is also a soldier. Just don't make it only the field. Oh. I, uh, I also, in my attempt, want to undead... Uh, uh, Rodrogon. Yes, I get to come back and dragon forth. But only as a dragon. It has to be a full-on dragon. It has to yeah. be a full-on yeah. dragon. Yeah. Human I mean, bodies, to me. Yeah. Human body's gone. Yes, yes, yes. Just as the dragon. Okay, you get your favor from the House of Black and White. You want them to mind control the soldiers <laughs> on the battlefield? All of them. Yeah, they can do that. Uh, and suddenly you find yourself giving out all the commands, and, and while that's going on, make an ice roll to see if you can bring back, um, you want to roll under your number, you can roll three, have your priests do it. One success. No! no. With consequence. No! Reroll! There's a success. With a consequence? Can the consequence be that they're a dragon forever? <laughs> um, 
I can't say no to it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's the consequences. You're a dragon forever. <laughs> <laughs> who who would want that? <laughs> Happy birthday, Sam! Like, um, like you know, waiting at the shore, like a like a little puppy. Like, are you coming coming back out of the water? And, oh. and like a, a Loch Ness, Loch Ness, yeah. just Sakura. head breaks. <gasps> and and like eagles. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> and what? I want to land near the. To near Van Dama, Dragon Van, Van Dragon. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Dragon Van, Van, Van Dragon. Van Dragon. Van Dragon. Because <laughs> yeah. uh, Lady Potty Dragon is is like, what? What's going on? And I reach out Dragon R and, and put the wing around your back. Dragon Shrug. Oh like, my gosh. What? Also, uh, dragon shrug. Be like, well, nuzzle, <laughs> and then like tails. <gasps> this is how you win the Game of Thrones. Oh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> they, they, the tails form a little heart, <laughs> Aww. Aww. and it says the end. <laughs> yeah, let me let me have a look. Wait, wait, before we go, I see some puppies in the distance. <gasps> yeah, I found oh. it. I swoop up. And dragon, and Whitney hops on the back of the dragon. Oh no! To her family. Oh! And she does a guitar riff on the on the way there. Like, burr, 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 can, burr, can, burr, the, can the dark force we go after be Gonzo? Oh, yeah. Sure. Yes. Yeah. That seems to be all that's left. Yeah. 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 Everything <laughs> else is dead. You, yeah. You go after Run. Gonzo, and exactly <laughs> yeah. as in the vision that you saw in the fire, um, uh, the direwolves reunite with uh, Wheatney, and um, uh, as just as, as another one of those earthquakes happen, as the you know the dragons okay. have been fighting so much, the ground rips open. <gasps> I um, thought that was the dragons. I thought so too. Yeah. But yes. we were wrong. We were wrong. Oh. It was a twist. Oh. Yes. In a Game of Thrones. Oh. Yeah, the, the ground rips open. Um, uh, 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 let's say, um, separating Lefteros from Westeros. Like a huge oh. canyon emerges, trapping Gonzo on this side. Uh, and yep. the dire wolves reunited. Uh, they just, just, just leap all over Gonzo, who ha has a strange um, vulnerability to dire wolves. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there we go. Muppet. Notoriously and, and, allergic. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. They, they, they think he's just like a Chitty chew toy. Oh, yeah. 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 And, and they just a go to work on Gonzo. with yeah. that schnalls. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he's just like, oh my god. It is, it is in their mouth, and they're just like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they're just it like. It becomes a chew toy. Yeah. And they're chewing on him, and uh, I, I will say, uh, as we pull back, um, uh, Joffrey's forces are just now under your control. Oh. Um, <laughs> your castle has crashed, but you have a new army. And Lefteros is ruled by dragons. Lefteros yes. Yes. is ruled by, yes, by intelligent by dragons By a council now. of worms. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, yes. That's and, what we wanted. Uh, Heck yes. Dragon uh, legions. We had all we wanted. Dragon, dragon legions. legions. Yeah. <laughs> And I think that's enough. Yeah. Um, yes! Okay. Yes! Yes! We win. Thanks we so win. much. Thank we won the game of Thrones. Oh my god, we did. Game of Thrones. Yeah. That was great. So um, and yeah. thank you, thank you, everybody. Oh my god. Wow. Thank you so much. Yeah. So, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We are actually not quite done yet. No. Because okay. first we have to sing Happy Birthday to Sam. Yes. yes. To the fiend of Game of Thrones. Yeah. So. One, oh my god. Two, three. Happy birthday, 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 happy birthday,
thank you all so much Yay! for making that happen. Um, so real quick, let's go around the table and tell the good people where they can find you. Hi, everyone. My name is Ravy T. Dumpsy. You can find me on Twitter at the underscore Ravy T. But you can also find me playing a pretty cool game with Sam and Marquia, as well as Xander. Um, and we yeah, like Xander. I mean, I'll let you do the actual <laughs> like, <laughs> bad announcement. But oh my god, ready to get spooky! Yes. Spooky. 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 Uh, I'm Gina Dvio. You can find me at Pocket Gina. And I'm on a couple podcasts, Plunders and Blunders with this lovely one. Uh -huh. And Champions of the Earth, Kids with Powers and Lots of Hormones. It's a lot of fun. Um, you can also catch me and the lovely TVD RPG on Geek and Sundry. Yeah. And we just wrapped Knights of Everflame Season 2. Oh, hey! hey. So, so stay tuned for when that starts airing. Uh-huh. Hi, I'm Sandal. <laughs> you can find me on Twitter at Tchaikovsky, C-H-A-I-K-O-V-S-K-Y. Uh, on Plunders and Blunders, that comes out every Monday, wherever fine podcasts are distributed. And yes, this Friday on twitch.tv slash Qtimes, Q-U-E-U-E times, uh, at 6.30 PDT is Geist Before the Gate. Uh, I'm very, very excited for this one. This cast is absolutely spectacular. Um, and also, um, we, we have a little show called Long Beach by Night. Uh, and that <laughs> is on Sundays. Um, episode 2 just aired today. It went places. Uh, uh, the Queen Mary's Haunted. Um, and that is uh, Sundays, 12 to 3, on twitch.tv slash times. Excellent. I'm Marakia McCarty. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram, M-A-R-K-E-I-A-M-C-C-A-R-T-Y. Uh, and uh, if you enjoy, well, it's Halloween month, you know, it's the season. Uh, I have a show, Something Scary Podcast. Uh, that is, um, we have user-submitted horror stories that we turn into animated horror series. And that's uh, released every Tuesday on YouTube. You can go to youtube.com slash snarled for that. Um, also, we release an audio podcast, and that is me storytelling, uh, like three more, uh, three more it. stories in that. That's every Tuesday, uh, and uh, so that means uh, this upcoming Tuesday, you can check out my storytelling prowess wherever you find your podcasts. It's called Something Scary. And then, yes, Geist, that I'll be doing Yay. with these two lovely individuals. Oh and if you happen to be in the Los Angeles area and you're like, oh, I want to do some comedy, I want to see some comedy, uh, the Second City Diversity Festival is happening on this uh, Saturday at my group Essence Improv. Uh, we've been together for about six years now. We will be performing um, at that festival at 6 p.m. is what I have down there. That It might not be 6. I might have just put that in my calendar. But we are performing <laughs> SS Improv. And Aliza from uh, Geek and Sundry is in Essence um, as well. Aliza so, Pearl. Aliza So, yes, come and check us out. Best glam. All right. Mm -hmm. Migo, uh, you can find me at the Becca Scott on all the platforms. <coughs> and uh, starting... Uh, Friday of next week, the 18th of October, there's a big Magic the Gathering Arena tournament happening, Mythic Championship 5. So uh, you can watch that on twitch.tv slash magic. I'm interviewing players and doing other, you know, random you know, cool things involved in the uh, championship. So really excited to watch High Level Magic. If you're at all interested in that, please, please tune in. And uh, yeah, just follow me on the things and just, I'll give you some uh, board game how-tos. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. 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 This was, this was super fun. fun. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm Rick Bud. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram at rbud913, or you can follow the show at Tempting Fate RPG. God, I lost my voice. Mm -hmm. um, this was so much fun. Um, <laughs> And uh, I will be back here next week. Um, we are doing uh, Ocean's Eleven. Um, <gasps> awesome. uh, and uh, we, for, for the first are we robbing the bank? Or a casino, or, or three casinos. Yo, um, Whoa. and uh, casinos. Yeah, that's a lot of casinos to rob. But they did. Um, yeah, and we will have a special guest. Our old uh, cohort, Max Isaacson, is coming oh, back. Oh, oh boy! Oh, oh, oh my goodness! Lefty, oh. 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 right? Did we do these? Oh, oh, yeah. Let's not forget. Yeah. Did everybody have the same one? Um, everybody, maybe not. Everybody, okay, starting with Rave, read what your secret objective was. There's a secret treasure hidden in the fort, and only you know about it. Find it and claim it for your house. Okay, 
Mine was, make a promise to another house, then break it. I'm sorry I never attended your meeting. No! <laughs> you didn't do the time I didn't share. do the time Luckily, share Luckily, I took over the brains of all of your soldiers, which is kind of my like soldiers. stealing something. Oh, you really? my own bread? I know. Yeah. They already became part of yours. I think I stole something valuable from another house when I did that. <laughs> you stole my bread. I'll make more. There is plenty of ingredients on the field. Uh -oh. What is bread may never pry, but rises again? Oh. The, bread's the bread's made of people. Wait, the bread yeah. is people! I was supposed to kill at least three major PC characters and uh, PCs or NPCs, and I didn't do that because I did the other side of Game of Thrones. Hey, oh, yeah. I'm I'm all yeah, well I failed, like, but did I? You fight like, lover or fighter? Um, I I had to provoke a fight with another house over something trivial. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah, which is why oh, when nice. you called me a liar, I was like, well. We Here we go. go. We got it. Here we go. <laughs> not, not, not bad, considering, you know, we lost some time there in the middle. It's yeah, like we did good. Something done. Um, this was great. You got something done. <laughs> thank you so much, Becca. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. So thank you, everyone. This was amazing. And uh, we will... Thank you. And we have puppets. We will be back next week, and then we're going to close the season down, apparently, with a Hero Pups trilogy. Yes. Uh, thanks to you. Um, which is amazing. I'm going to go get working on the list of the 65 puppers that we're going to have to choose from. Um, so it's amazing. a lot of puppers. It's a lot of puppers. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, this was amazing. And uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you for jumping fate with us. Thank you.